finally shutting up. All right. Hello, everybody. Hello. I'm joined by Andy Tran, Kenna Tran, and Vivian Ho. What's up, bitches? Uh, Be nice to the audience. John John couldn't make it due to uh, he's out with his family, and Meg is on her way, as usual. Uh, I'm your Dungeon Master, Eric Scott, and today we're playing another game of Path to Vengeance. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, as you might recall, last week, the gang uh, had been on the road for a while after escaping Grey Hollow, and they encountered a gigantic uh, wolf, which turned out to be a hill giant that was uh, cursed with lycanthropy, which they promptly slew. Larry uh, did nothing. They made, the, he helped save a wagon from fire, and that was, you know, you saved a pregnant lady, so. That's good. Points to Gregory. Uh, and a man's livelihood, is, uh, among other things. Uh, Two points for Gregory. Yeah. So then they made their way to uh, the port town where they were going to res get transport to uh, the island of Ebonrock because they need to get to the town of Blackshore for a variety of their own needs. Uh, they bought a shit ton of fish and, uh, and meat and other things. A encounter ensued between teammates when... Their rogue lockbreak decided to try and steal grease from Gregory, uh, which resulted in <laughs> lockbreak being brought down to one hit point. And Gregory being slathered in grease. And Gregory being slathered in grease, and then promptly set on fire by the team's cleric. It's fine. This is fine. <laughs> they also... Uh, uh, walk it off. <laughs> walk it off. Uh, they also... Real, uh, they also have a doll... That apparently followed them. Oh yeah. We or stowed away. Doll. Since since the castle of Grey Hollow. Her, her, her name's Julie. Um, want to make that clear? And a number of our friends are very disturbed that you named it after their mother. But. <laughs> oh shit! Really? No. Zach and John. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I mean, to be honest. That brings a whole new a whole new level of meta, dude. To be like, honest, though, if you named it Dal, then then it'll be creepy to Dow me. Phone. Phone, yeah. Uh, so they bought a bunch of fish. They 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 have chartered a boat to uh, Blackshore, the city on Ebon Rock. They met a freaky French guy. They met a freaky French guy named Freddy. <laughs> and a were shark. And uh, Gregory's it's very feminine. A guy a guy Gregory had once hired when he was a quest giver NPC yeah. once upon a time, Bruce. Uh, who is the first mate on the ship they're on right now. They went out to sea. Uh, they enjoyed. They saw the Turtle Island, Tortuguito. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're having a grand old time. And as night has descended, the full moon has come out. And uh, and that's where we're starting out. Mm -hmm. uh, the rest of you have... It's gotten late. The rest of you are getting ready for bed. Lockbreak and Corvina have actually gone to bed. Because it's been a long day. The rest of you might be preparing for such things. Uh, and that's, Ryder Dan, is when you hear what sounds like a wolf howling. And, and at first it doesn't strike you, but then you, you have the realization, what the fuck? <laughs> We're on the ocean. It's a friggin' beetle! coming at me. <laughs> what would you like? You're currently in your cabin. Do we hear this boat. howl? Uh, he does. You can make a perception check. I'll make a perception check. That will be a 50. Uh, Gregory, you also hear it. The bloody yuck! The fucking wolf! I'm gonna go sneak out. Gregory, you would have been probably in the kitchen cleaning up after yourself from the cooking you did for everyone today. No problem. Oh, lovely. You know, I'm gonna I'm go to the kitchen, too. Uh, I'm feeling kind of peckish. You know, I'm just gonna go to the kitchen for I'm gonna murder no Gregory. important reason. <laughs> Alright, so you make your way to the kitchen, and you find Gregory scrubbing out the last pot of the evening. Shit! Oh, hello, Phillips. I didn't... 
expect you to be here. Why you say it like that? You sound like you weren't expecting me to be here. I was not. Or expecting me to be here. I don't Most know. Most humans do not awake at this hour. Well, I do. I'm a farmer. What do you do? Probably nothing. Because you're an aristocrat. It's not morning. With your soft tan. It's not morning. It's very much night. I know. The night has begun. I know. Right. I'm a farmer. Mm -hmm. You probably never spent the night working tending to your sheep with your soft, squishy elf hands. That's because back in where I come from... You don't do work, I know. No, you turn sheep into shepherd's pie. I do that too. Alright, I'm a, I'm a freaking sheep farmer! Very well. I'm murdering my own children! <laughs> which is sheep, not... I want, to, I want to clarify, Gregory does not eat babies. He only murders sheep to eat, and he treats to sheep as his children, which he will one day murder for sustenance or gold. That's quite funny, because that makes us polar opposites, because I do eat children. I do enjoy eating- No, no, that's not canon, I'm just kidding. God damn it! Anyway, Phillips, do you not hear famous. that? Hear- oh yeah, the wolf. I assume that's because I was half asleep. No. I hear too, and I'm fully awake, feeling as spry as, as a jackrabbit. I was gonna say as spry as an aristocrat has never done a bleeding bit of work in his life. Fine, I'm as spry as an aristocrat who've never done a single day of work in my life. Sorry. And I hear a wolf. Okay. In the <coughs> ship. There it goes again. Do you not hear it? Sounds very feminine. How can you tell? You can't tell what gender a wolf is unless you look at his stuffs. Don't worry, I murdered enough wood to know. Wolves to know. Is that so? Yes. Ah! You won't be... Ah! It goes again! It's, it's calling for its mates! Quick! We must protect the sheep on board. There are no sheep on right, board. Right, right, forgot. Sorry, having flashbacks. <laughs> I don't know why, but I have a feeling that... We might need silver. I don't know. Don't it was just silver. No, I tossed it into a chasm. <laughs> Do you not remember this? It was two episodes ago. Wait, what? Oh, I bet it was. It was a while ago. <laughs> no, I mean, why did you toss into a chasm? <laughs> silver. Silver. All remember my silver those coins. nine species oh, yeah. of silver? Corvina picked those up. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a chasm. Got... It was literally just a floor down. Oh. <laughs> Whatever. It looks like a chasm to me. That's okay, it. well let's murder this wolf. Um, I'm gonna, I'm, uh, I'm gonna have Gregory figure out where the hell this wolf is. Uh, it is coming from above decks. Okay, well he's gonna head above deck. Also, strangely am enough, I still, you still am have, I still on the crow's nest? You it? still, strangely enough, have not seen a single crew member other than Bruce or the captain Sinbara. Yeah, that is strange. It is. Where is the crew? Are they Phillips? vampires? Oh shit. Yeah, they'll help us kill the wolf. <laughs> Vampires uh, and werewolves are enemies. As Twilight tells us. As Twilight tells us, man. And as we all know, the lore of Twilight supersedes all other lore. Exactly, dude. <laughs> Apparently so. <laughs> this is common knowledge. I remember the part about the elf and the sheep farmer being Twilight, you know? Like <laughs> that would have made the movie a lot more interesting. A lot more oh interesting. Imagine if Gregor was in Twilight. That would be hilarious. No, be Bella! Are you stupid? <laughs> He'd be murdering vampires and werewolves. No, that of mine is marrying a fucking vampire. <laughs> Get the fuck away from her, you blood sucking son bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that of mine is gonna commit bestiality with a werewolf. His bol his bolts will do as much damage as a ballistic modern day weapon. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna head up deck, or Gregory's gonna head up deck in order to see what the hell's going on. Where is this wolf? I will and, follow him. Okay, yeah, he's gonna follow me. He's gonna be my backup. All right, you guys open the door. You come out onto the ship's deck. Mm -hmm. uh, currently, the only light is there. There does appear to be a torch lit uh, on the deck, uh, but for the, or a lantern. I mean, there is a lantern lit uh, hung up to the mast. But other than that, your only real light is the moonlight. Coming down, the full moon. Look at the moon, shining Phillips. Down on you. Is it not beautiful? Rarigan, Very round. Yeah. You can see fairly well with your dark vision, Gregory. It's pretty fucking dark. Again. <laughs> but aren't isn't the moon shining down? The moon is shining light? down, and it's beautiful. A full moon. So it, it's dark, but you 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 can't see fairly well. 
Okay. Better than the other other night. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna just shut. Tell him to shut. I'm gonna tell uh, I'm gonna tell Riordan. Oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I need to figure out what this wolf is. I need to use my sheep farming senses. Do I see him? I have dark vision. The wolf. The uh, wolf. At her. No, make a perception check. Bada bing, bada. Plus seven. Uh, that is twenty plus. All right. Is that the new bada boom, bada bing, bada plus seven? Bada boom, bada bing. Yeah. So you look. You're looking around, trying to find the source of this noise. And then something, you catch a glimpse of movement and you look up at the crow's nest and you see snarling blonde fur, uh, the form of a werewolf. Well, fuck this dude. <laughs> Holy shit. In, in ragged clothing that you can tell looks like it was Whipper's clothing that she was wearing oh, after no. she removed her armor. Oh, and no. you see her, and she sees you. Don't move. If you don't, can't see you. Unless you make sudden movements or loud noises. And then you hear uh, okay. the captain, Sinbada, who is still on the, the, st the ship's steering wheel. It's like, <clears throat> you fuckers did not pay me enough for this. <laughs> <laughs> you know that? <laughs> captain! Get Look at me! Look at me! I'm looking. There is a werewolf up there. No, I'm aware. It's been howling for the past two minutes. <laughs> all right. So all we have to do is stay here, not make any sudden movements, and one will just ignore us, right? <laughs> Their vision is not based on movement, you dumbass. <laughs> I tried. I really did. They're cool. Do you know what that means? No. We could get Bruce, and we could have a were shark werewolf showdown. Look, the thought occurred to me. Bruce is in the water right now. Good point. Okay. <laughs> Quick! I go over. I mean, he can come out anytime. Can you call Bruce? Bruce! Oh, Brucey Poo! Oh my god. Bruce! Brian! Yeah, and he takes a bottle of whiskey and he chucks it over the side. <laughs> oh, that's a whiskey. You know that, mate. You hear what? That's a whist! A what? A, a waste. Oh. That'd be a whist. You know that if you try to drink it in the water, the water's just gonna go into the whiskey, right? <laughs> it, it was a closed bottle. Okay. <laughs> but eventually, like after a moment, you hear you hear thunking on the side, and come lumbering up. Rarer than this is completely unexpected to you because you've never seen anything like this. Well, this shit. grayish skinned large form <laughs> picks itself up over, steps into the ship. It looks like a combination of shark and man. This shark's head mounted on a muscular. Ma uh, male frame <clears throat> with shark skin, a fin on its back, a teeth, just rows of jagged teeth, soulless black eyes, and it op and it just breaks the bottle on the side and then chugs it all. <laughs> I lean over to Phil to say, "Where's Bruce?" <clears throat> that is Bruce. He's a star, you know. He's coming to a sci-fi channel near you. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce, we got a fucking problem. Your hillbilly degenerate cousins bit someone. <laughs> and you see Bruce turn his big old shark head up towards the crow's nest, where Sinbada is pointing. And the now werewolf whipper is looking down and growling. Can I see her or no? Uh, you can, if since they've pointed it out now to you. Okay. And the now lupine whipper jumps down and be and just starts sliding down the mast of the ship. Shh, claws slowing her descent. And I would like everyone to roll initiative. Uh, there are four of us and one of her! We got this. Corvina is still asleep, isn't she? Uh you don't see her. Nineteen. Uh, Twelve. I have eleven. I forgot the initiative counters again. Give us a minute, guys. One minute break. Quick, sing a copyrighted song. Sing what? A copyrighted song. No. <clears throat> ba ba da ba 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 da ba. It's not unusual to be loved by anyone. Ba da ba 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 da. That's you fucked up, dude. I know. It doesn't go like that. Ever heard of Tom Jones, man? Nope. Of course you haven't. You're a culture. You guys are being jerks like to your film. own channel. 
What? It's not our channel. Well, technically, Andy is part of the channel. I'm a co-star. <laughs> Eric's, Eric's the main guy. I'm the, just the co-star. You're still part of the channel, technically. I get 40%. That's not enough for me. Now you really gotta put these in a better spot. Okay, we're back. We should put them, like, inside the thing. They should. Okay, so 20 and above? Anyone? No. Alright. 15 to 20? 19. 19 for Ray or Dan. Where is yours? <clears throat> it is around here somewhere, I know. <coughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Alright, 10 to 15? Um, 12. 11. Alright. And Gregory is here. You know, one of the funniest things, you want know, to hear something? Actually, your mom was, uh, like, originally, you know, Gregory's conception into D&D from my homebrew. I was actually thinking of either making him a ranger or a fighter, but then I just decided to go a fighter. What was that? His favorite enemy would have to be people who killed his sons. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> uh, all right, so first up in initiative, where are What would you like to do? Well, do I regain all my spell slots? Uh, it has... Like, I've taken a full rest, right? He only needs uh, four hours to you, sleep. You actually hadn't used any spell slots the previous day, I believe. I use I use Purify Food and Drink for dinner. You had. Uh, so, no, you have not, because it is, you have not had a full four-hour rest. Oh, okay. Sleep, as far as that. Oh, okay. Um, you guys have been doing stuff all day. Mm -hmm. And it has only just been night for a very small amount of time. Uh, so, no, you have not had a full, proper long rest. Oh, wait, I forgot to increase my max HP for leveling up. Just do that real quick. Four. Seven. What would you like to do? Whipper is currently about 80 feet away from you. Uh, part of that is up. Mm, yeah. Currently clawing her way down from the mast. But Sinbad is like, stop fucking scratching my ship! <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna pop Son a firebolt. Alright, toss me a firebolt attack. Uh, that is... 19. 19 will hit. <clears throat> Lovely. That's a... Uh, some damage to your... Deal, to your D8? Friend. It is a... D no, firebolt is D... It's a D10, I feel like. D10, yeah, but like, shouldn't it increase damage because it's level 5? Actually, Cancer? yes, I believe I'll so. look it up Who really has quick. the handbook? I do, I got it. <clears throat> That's right, cantrips increase in level when you level up. Finger of damage. Fine traps, finger of death, fireball, firebolt. 2d10s. 2d10s. 2d10 damage to Whipper. Alright, lovely. So you release a fireball, and Gregory, this is much brighter than Riordan's previous fireball. Wow, the ice! <laughs> it looks bigger, it actually blinds you for a second. It's 4 damage. Uh, but Whipper manages to... Just narrowly avoid the brunt of it, and you take four points of damage. Ah, right. Me papers! <laughs> Did that work? All right, next up <clears throat> is Whipper. <laughs> I'm not sure what to do here. Whipper, not in control of herself. Thank you. Continues Just going down. down the mast, lands oh, on the no. deck of the ship. Ah, oh, shit. Let's out a large roll or, or a howl. <coughs> and Gregory, you see her much clearly now. This golden blonde fur, uh, where previously there was scales. I have so many <laughs> questions about this. <laughs> oh. Of course you would say. Of course Gregory would say that. Like, how does that work? Does that mean she sheds her scales in order to go? Great hair, or did she had hair underneath the scales the entire time, and that's just something that dragonborns keep to themselves, because they would look fucking weird with scales or with hair. And you watch her form shift, and it uh, it reverts from the form of a hybrid mm -hmm. werewolf to that of just a normal wolf. <laughs> wolf call. And she moves another ten feet uh, closer to you, looking like she's going to pounce. Oh, what have I done to you? Kill him! <laughs> kill me, kill him! I'm, I'm she's heading towards both of you, because you're currently standing ah, right shit, next okay. to each other. Um, I have a long life to live. 
statistically much longer than his. What, what's your AC? 15. Oh, shit, I'm going to have to stand in front of you then. Aw, oh, yeah. <laughs> Gregory, what would you like to do? I'm going to stand in front of Riordan because I have more AC than him. And I'm relying on you to at least guidance, not that, to heal yeah. me. Dude, at least, good. like, when I'm almost about to die in order to fucking murder. So I could, like, not murder Whipper, but I want to say bring her to the point where life and death becomes one. Dude, it's all good, dude. I got this. Okay, I'm going to take out my light crossbow and I'm going to fire twice because I have multi-attack. Multi you do, you have an extra attack now. Bada bing, bada boom. She's running towards me, right? She is. I'm and walking. So you, hear, you hear this wolf, this golden blonde wolf snarling as it... So I don't get anything back, right? Towards you. Huh? I don't get anything back? You, uh... I, and none of my battle oh, masters, yeah, none of my lucky... Oh yeah, happened the other day. Yeah, none of my um, battle masters, none of my lucky. Uh, I think you took a long rest after that. Okay, cool. So I'll say everything came back before that. Uh, after that point, everything okay. comes back. Cool, cool. I'm just gonna uh, write that down. Before and... that point, like I think I'm pretty sure he used his pre or fry food and water after that. Yeah. So. I I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah. Yeah. So in he's that... the only one. He's the only one who really used anything. I think. Okay, in that case, I'm just going to use one of my battle masters. So I could use my cross bolas. Technically, what's my AC now since I'm a werewolf? At I know I already took twelve. That one. Okay. Ooh. That will be nineteen to hit. That's nineteen hit. will hit. Okay. Yeah. And wolves are not hard to hit. That's the eight. So I she's very large. I just don't have my armor armor on. That's a good thing. She's unarmored. That'll be seventeen points of damage. All right. And she has to make a strength saving throw. She does. So you take. Uh, eight points of damage. Uh, I didn't make a. Wait, I was. And you need to, to make a strength saving throw. Okay. Natural Nat twenty. Okay, that doesn't do anything. Okay, so you shoot your Wait, crossbow. Wait, I just realized. Remembered something. I'm gonna use lucky on you. What? Oh shit! <laughs> Roll again. God damn it, man! I hate you. You really want me to die? I'm right. trying not to die. Uh, what what kind of saving throw is this? Strength. It's strength saving throw. So add whatever 14. you're... 14. That be, uh, that's matches mine. Alright, that beats it. Okay. So, uh, so you shoot your cross bolas at it, and the bolt hits just as you planned. But the bolas, Whipper, Whipper Wolf manages to expertly get her front legs out of the way of the bolas. Okay. And the bolas okay. keep going, and for a second you think it's going to hit the back legs, and then they just barely manage okay. to get out of the way. I lose. He's still lumbering towards Eight. you. Eight. Okay, so that was the shot. first attack. That was the first attack. This is the second. That will be twelve to hit. Exactly. Twelve will hit. Yay. And that will be a five. Okay, five points I'm of down, damage. I'm down you to take three. two points of damage. Okay, so I'll. So ten points in total. Because eight and two. Yeah, so I have 30. Another crossbow bolt lodges into uh, your friend Whipper. Can we move the uh, table the, over? Through the rags okay. that have pretty much just, like, most of them have yeah. fallen off at this point since she's in wolf uh, form. One moment, uh, Eric, we're going to move the table. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Careful. And we're going to move this thing up. Okay, uh, there we go. Most of, the ra most of the clothes she was wearing have either, like, come off, like, just During because she's in wolf form at this point, mm -hmm. not hybrid form. And the others are just ripped to shreds from when she was in hybrid form. Oh, uh, man. I am so glad Dragonborns don't have breasts. Otherwise, that'd be indecent. Um, yeah. Currently, she's a wolf. Um, uh, but, like, it just pokes right through one of the rags. And just like the fight with the wolf, uh, the, gigant the giant wolf, it does not appear to have much of an effect. It doesn't have much of an effect. Last time, that's actually better than last time, because last time it had no effect. It, it had an effect. No, it did not. It, I, I told you. Okay. I, I told you. I, I homebrewed it. Okay, So cool. there was, it was resisted, but it doesn't seem to bother her all that much. Oh, okay. Like, she, it, she, there is no reaction. It is still just coming towards you like you did not even shoot it. Okay, well, um, I... I'm just going to end my turn right there, because I thought that was pretty much it. Firing twice of a crossbow bolt.
with crossbow bolts. All right. I'm done. <laughs> Next up, it is Bruce. Bruce. Bruce in his were shark form. Were shark. Drops the whiskey bottle. Give it to Shanker. Oh shit, dude. And he starts rushing forward. And collides, or he's going to try. Uh, Whipper, I need you to make a athletics check or acrobatics check. Where am I? Acrobatics or athletics? Uh, whichever you choose. Whichever um, is better. I got 12. Or not better. Your call. Uh, 12 total? Yeah. Does not beat Bruce's athletics check. So you guys watch as this huge were shark form with his weird webbed claw hands and huge muscular arms. Bruce is already a big guy. He's a little bit bigger as a were shark. Yeah. Just charges forward and collides with this wolf midair and forces it to the ground. And they're just in a primal wrestling match at the moment. Kind of don't want to. Kind of don't want to do anything now because this is fucking badass. Let's <laughs> we'll see what happens. So you guys are just watching this is she fight prone? and suit. Huh? Is she prone? She's not prone, but she is grappled. Okay. <laughs> She's coming up and trying to bite him. He's uh, no roars coming out, which is eerily creepy uh, because sharks don't have vocal cords. Uh, not like it, it is taking every ounce of resistance in my body to not make Bruce roar. <laughs> <laughs> no, he can roar if he's related to Jaws. Yeah. <laughs> In one of the sequels, Jaws uh, actually roars. Yeah, he roars. <laughs> it sounds like Jerry. Sharks can't roar. Yeah. Um, so you watch them as they're just fighting, uh, duking it out. Whipper <clears throat> snarling and trying to bite it. Bruce, and Bruce just holding her at bay. Uh, Captain Sinbada <clears throat> steps forward, takes his hands off the steering wheel, uh, just jumps down to where you two are standing. <laughs> so do we have a fucking plan for this shit or are we just going to kill your friend we're going to knock her out and or let Bruce fight her for the next 8 hours cause this is fucking badass I'm sure Bruce can handle it Bruce yeah. save her after whatever okay, cool. yes I need that just so you know he just took my pack of cocaine yep just gotta snort a bit Ah. Got to do the things the DMs do. Yeah. All right, and he he does not attack this turn, uh, but he does draw forth his scimitars or his not scimitars, cutlasses. He has dual cutlasses. Shing, takes them out and stands ready. Okay. All right. Let's do this shit. Oh, God, Meg, get here. Uh, it is right, back round to Rai Ordan. Oh. Ordan, your turn. It's back to me, huh? Um, shit, you know, I kind of just want to watch. I'll cast Guidance on Bruce. All right, is Guidance a touch? Do you have? Shit. Do I need to look that up? It is, isn't it? You can get up to him. It's a cantrip, right? It is a cantrip. Oh yeah, but guidance is touch. You know, I'm on a willing something. creature, I think. Wait, it I is touch. Well, blindness slash deafness. What that's, about it? That's not a touch. That is not a touch, I do believe. Yeah. That's your. That's a level two spell. Yeah, it is a level two spell. Yeah, just ask him. I believe. Cast zone of truth. <laughs> what was that? What was that against wisdom, right? Real talk. Whipper, did you ever truly love luck break back? Oh my god. Uh, what was that? She answers for uh, blindness, blindness deafness. You deafness. can blind or deafen a foe. They have to make a con saving throw. Con saving throw, huh? If it fails, they're blinded or deafened. Your choice. What's your con like? Uh, con You sh do not know this. Stop that. <laughs> Shit, I meant, uh, oh. Well, you know what? Well, she's a paladin. One of the paladins uh, saving throws is con. You're right. I guess I should. Yeah. Or is it? Yeah, I'm just gonna commit to I it anyway. I play a paladin. <laughs> Stop helping him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna commit to well, it. You... I don't approve of this meta gaming that is making this much less intense. <laughs> I'm casting blindness slash deafness. All right, you cast blindness deafness. Whipper, blind. I need you to make a Constitution saving uh... throw. All right. 
What is that? Sixteen. Ah, shit. Okay. That that, yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's better. That's What's better. your DC? Fifteen. Uh, All right. So you cast a spell, and you see it take hold of Whipper for a second, and it seems like she just shrugs it off and just gets even angrier. I tried, guys. I really tried. Oh, wait, no. Paladins don't have constitution as a wisdom. No, they do. No, it's uh, wisdom and charisma. Yeah. Still, still doing Fighters have constitution. Mr. I play a paladin. <laughs> Alright, um... Next up, it is Whipper's turn. She's grappled right now. Whipper, I need you to make an athletics check to try and get free of the grapple. Eight. Uh, you do not manage to get free of the Can grapple. I see your mother book. I want to look up Lucky really quick. All right. Thank you. You have two more luck points, I believe. Yeah, I do. I just want to see if I could use it on not my turn, or just uh, on my turn. I it, think it's just on my you turn. You can if someone's attacking you, I believe. Okay. Um, or for your attacks. Whipper, I need you to make two attacks on Bruce. Okay. Um, let's these, see. One of these is a bite attack, and one of these is a claw attack. Uh, I forgot. Plus what again? Strength. Uh, for this, it is your proficiency bonus, so three. Okay. You are proficient. You are considered proficient in these. Eight. One moment. I am looking up the werewolf page. Werewolf. Plus your strength. So you have a plus five to hit. So both of them are strength. Okay, so um, ten for one, and then thirteen for the other. <clears throat> uh. In his current form, the 13 will hit. Okay. So that would be your claw attack. Okay. Do I need so to roll damage? Roll 2d4. 2d4. Where's the d4? This is her bite or her claw? This is her claws. Okay. It's not a big deal for Bruce if she bit him because he can't be infected twice. Two. Two points of damage. Okay, so you deal four points of damage overall reduced to two. Okay. So you guys watch as Whipper Wolf... Uh, trying to bite and claw at Bruce, and he does get scratched, but it doesn't seem to bother his hulking shark form all that much. Mm -hmm. uh, next up, Gregory. Gregory! Again, I kind of want to watch this, but at the same time, I don't want anything bad to happen to Bruce, because, like, you know, Bruce did a favor for me. I could probably do a favor for Bruce. <sighs> What? Right now, currently, like since Bruce ran up from your guys' direction, he is most of the way in in the way of Whipper. If you wanted to take a shot, I'm just letting you know. Okay, I'm saying so that means she'll have like half cover. She has a little bit of cover from him. Okay. Hmm. Let me think here. If I I, I assume if I use the Simon check, that won't like just cut off her hand or something. Uh, she's currently not wielding any weapons. Her I sword. Know. Her sword belt is actually somewhere like. You you can see it hanging for like halfway up the mast where it. Oh yeah, I could just imagine me firing a disarming strike and it just cuts off her hand. I have to disarm her. That'd be literal disarming. You can't cut something <laughs> off with a bolt. <laughs> yeah, but it's a cross dagger bow, so it's a dagger fired from a crossbow. You're insane. <laughs> do what you're gonna do, you crazy I'm son of a gonna... bitch. Okay, how long would it take for me to walk around them in order to get a clear shot? Uh. With your full movement, you yeah, could uh, probably 30. you would get a much clearer shot. Okay, I'll use my full movement to like walk around them in order to get a clear shot. All right, and then I'm going to fire twice and use one of my battle masters to, uh, then uh, to use my crossbow loss again. All right. So this is my first attack without the crossbow loss, and that will be a, uh, thirteen. Thirteen will hit Whipper okay. and her wolf form. I'm gonna roll damage for like the entire thing if you don't mind. Okay. Yeah. And this is will be my crossbow loss. And that will be... I'm going to use my lucky for that one, because I got a three. <laughs> you hate me so much, do you? Uh, that'll be 20 plus. 20 plus will hit Whipper. Okay. And I will now roll for damage. Uh, Whipper, I need you to make a strength saving throw as another possible loss is flying at you. What is the DC? DC is 14. 10. Fuck. Okay, uh... Oh, shit, yeah. Okay, so how many points of damage? I'm rolling right now, so that. And works. what effect does she get? Grab, uh, prone. Prone. All right. Nineteen points of damage in total. All right. So halved, you take nine points of damage. Okay. Um... And she's now also now prone. And as I said. now you watch as the cross bolas 
get her this time. You guys are gonna this kill time. me at this rate. Wraps What's around your... her wolf legs Dude, and drops good. her to the ground. She's still being held down by Bruce. You guys are gonna kill me at this rate, I swear. Yeah, I know, right? I have to spare the dying. Come on. Yeah, she has to spare the dying. All right. Um, up. Next up, it is Bruce's turn. Do we need to make an athletic like, saving check again? Uh, no, because he already has you grappled. Okay. So he's just yeah. going to hold her in place. Yep. Ah, oh, my fucking eye. And you can see him like almost struggling, like he's. This is the full moon. Yeah. It's a very trying time for him, even someone who has control over their transformation sometimes. Good point. Uh, what so, will be, like, be the equivalent of a full moon for a shark man? This is the full yeah. moon. <laughs> it's water, man. The it's how lycanthropes work, man. Blood in the water, that's his equivalent? Uh, blood in the water. He, he can smell the blood, you can tell that, and he is, yeah. he is doing everything he can to just not do anything. But he's holding her down, and that's about as much as he can do. Okay. Sinbada will walk up to Whipper. Oh boy. Take what? out. Sorry, go. Uh, and slash her with one of his scimitars. For both of them, really. Because he has multi attack. And the second one will hit. So, Whipper, you take. Seven points of damage, huh? not halved. As Sinbada. <laughs> One of you needs the helmet. And slices her. Seven points, right? Yes. Okay. One of you needs the helmet. I have seventeen left. I'm already on it, dude. We should not. You. We don't. We don't know that though. All we know is that. Down, you, hell beast. <laughs> you don't know that you have seventeen points of health left. Anyway. Oh, you guys, yeah. the character masters. All right. Uh, next up, back top of initiative. Briar Dan Volga. Briar Dan Volga. Out of curiosity, what are the perks of being a werewolf? I'm glad you asked, Andy. She's resistant to all the damage that you as Gregory can dish out. Good! Because I homebrewed things, and she's not immune to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing from non-magical weapons. Just resistant. However, she can only werewolves can only be killed by bludgeoning, slashing, or piercing weapon from a silvered or magical weapon, or magical damage in and of itself. Golly um, gee, Mr. Eric! Another question! Out of do, curiosity! Do, 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 do. <laughs> Out of curiosity, if I enchant a crossbow, would that count as a magic weapon? It would, I think. And will all my attacks fired from it be, in, be considered enchanted attacks? I've actually thought about that a, quite a bit, and I would say so until proven otherwise. Yay, okay. Although cross wo uh, although plus one bolts and arrows do exist, so I'm trying to figure out, like, okay, how would that work if you use both of them together? Does that make it a plus two if you use them together? Like plus two together? I'm figuring that out. Like, like We're not worrying or, about that yeah, for like now. Yeah. We're already yeah. Oh, yeah. Golly gee, Mr. You sure do know a lot. Uh. That's because I smoke crack daily. <laughs> <laughs> that is how teachers get through their days. Okay, you know what? I'm going a, I'm to a go for it. I'm just going to run up to her and I'm going to inflict a third level inflict wounds. All right. Inflict wound third level. Yeah. That's 5d10, right? Uh, that's 5d10, yeah. So, can does I borrow she, some? Okay, she, you need to make an attack roll first. Does she oh, make yeah, them, um... Right. If this works, There's dude... There's no save, I don't think. If this works... Okay. It's an attack roll. Plus 7. That's gonna hit? Oh, that'll hit. Yeah. Uh, you got a 16 plus 7. Here go. I need one more. Well, y'all gonna kill me. Uh, kill I got me spare the dying, idea. dude. I got spare the dying. You, you can only die if the damage exceeds your... Max maximum HP hit points. By twice. So if you had like say six hit points and someone dealt twelve points of damage to you, you'd die. I, because, I, your I know, but y'all gonna kill like, me at this like rate. Like whatever is left over, it does. You don't go into negative. You go to zero. But if like, say like there, if you if you had six hit points, fourteen, like at your maximum, like as a sorcerer or something, and someone dealt twelve points of damage, the normal six brings you down to zero, and then the leftover six exceeds. Goes to or exceeds your maximum hit points when you're okay. at full, so you would just die. Okay, uh, he just did 14 points of damage. 14 points. How much do you have left? I have 17. after 14. Three. Okay, so you yeah. reach out, necrotic energy coming from your hands. Oh yeah. And just singes this golden brown, this golden blonde fur. <laughs> It'd be really great if Meg gets here. The more you shout, it won't work. Meg is not texted. Uh, so currently, uh, you guys 
Uh, I still have a werewolf on your hands. Whipper, I need you to make another athletics check. Uh. To escape Bruce's grapple. Does Bruce have the same uh, resistance as other, other were creature? Yes, he does. 17. Okay, cool. That actually beats Bruce this time, so the wolf manages to <laughs> escape from Bruce's grasp. Yes, Bruce has all the same advantages. Uh, as a were. He but has he can a, breathe underwater. But he can breathe underwater. And he has probably like 30 swim. And he does have a swim speed. And he can turn into a fucking shark. He's definitely just a better werewolf at this point. I, like... A little bit. Um, the only thing he does not have is that he can't look forward. That's true, though. Yeah. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. Uh, if you guys don't know, if sharks... You really, if you really think about it, yeah. yeah. Sharks cannot look forward unless they're like very specific species of sharks, like great whites. They actually have to turn their heads in order to see. They have a very... Right. Whipper, I want you to make two attack rolls. Uh, these are both bites in your wolf form. Okay. One is against Ray or Dan. Oh no! Actually, uh, both of them are against Ray or Dan. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> strength and pro, right? All right. Plus, um, plus your normal attack bonus. This is a plus five. Plus five for you. Plus five. Okay. Uh, so. Oh my gosh, are you gonna be a werewolf third. now? Oh mm. shit! You all be fucked up. <laughs> all right. So the first one. Holy oh, Jesus, Whipper! You're really hurting me. The first me. one was 18, and then. No hit. Next one is. 14? Well, 14? That one hit. hit. No. Alright, so the 18 hits you, so I need you to roll. Oh, shit. For a bite attack, that is a D8. Okay. Which one's the D8? The diamond. That one. Okay. Twice or just the one? Just the ones. That's a one. That's your strength? <laughs> so you take three points of damage as Whipper manages to get out of Bruce's arms and just comes and tries to bite you, and she misses the first time, but then the second one comes and gets you right in the shoulder, right by your neck. Oh, and no. I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. How am I cheating this, Whipper? I'm going to be a, a werewolf like you. That's a 10. <laughs> oh, no. Right. no. Oh, no. All right. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's good to know. Uh, now it is Gregory's turn. Do I have to kill two people today? I want to be just like you, Miss Whipper. <laughs> I'm gonna, you know what? Nothing's working. Then I, Gregory's, he's just thinking about this. He's like, ah, oh, goddamn, this thing is a lot more troubling than it's worth. I mean, I knew she was tanky in her not wolf form, but now, <laughs> oh man, none of my crossbow bolts are shitting, are hurting her. Ah, oh, wait, I got one last option. I am going to sacrifice. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I'm Man gonna, the Lord. <laughs> I'm gonna take out my um, um, take out the bloody bulk that I haven't been using at all. Yeah. Isn't that the one from uh, the Hag's Hut? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to let loose with that at Whipper. No, you're gonna kill me. That will be a. I'm scared of dying. Jeez. Seventeen to hit. All right, that'll hit. Okay. So roll yep, me damage. I'm gonna die. How much damage? It's your normal crossbow bolt. How damage. much HP you got left? She has three. I have three. Oh yeah, no, that beats her because I have plus three dex. All right, roll the d6 just for actually. D8, roll the, I'm using. Roll, light it crossbow. is a d8 for the light crossbow, but the bolt has its own magical damage. Oh okay. So roll a d6. Two. You get two hit points back. You I get, don't you even get. Yeah. Any. So you feel invigoration as Whipper's body gets hit by this crossbow bolt, and red energy flows from the crossbow bolt. Into your body. Can I choose which parts of me tingle? <laughs> no. No. Down no. below? It's just a general feeling throughout your whole body. I want to say my nose is tingly. Your <laughs> nose is a little bit tingly, too. <laughs> Yay. Uh, and Whipper's form drops unconscious. <sighs> dying at the moment. I have one HP left. Thanks a lot, fuckers. That was a fuckers. magic attack. No, actually his crossbow bolt dealt more damage and it was a magical attack. Oh, I thought it was two so, points. So you're actually down. Ah, fuck. Does that mean I have to make a certain type of throw so I don't die? Only if do I turn uh, into a werewolf? No, you do not at this moment. Okay, good. At this moment. At this moment. So Sinbada and Bruce uh, step up and they're looking down at her unconscious form. Wait, wait, wait. Where'd I get bit? Where'd I get bit? Sasuke. In the shoulder. Shit, I can't cut that off. Bruce reverts back to his human form, so now he's just pretty much... Uh, Standing before you, a naked man. <laughs> Beautiful. Woo! And actually, hold on, let me look that up. Beautiful. Ah, crap, we... Whipper is a dragon wolf now! That's, that sounds a lot more badass than it really should be. All 
All right, she's checking. Uh, Rorodan, would you like to do anything? Yes, I would like to cast Spear the Dying on Whipper. All right, you stabilize Whipper. She does not have to make any death saving throws now. Thank God! There we go. Uh, and you watch as her now unconscious form, the fur starts receding into scales. And uh, lying before you is now in tattered rags, the form of Whipper unconscious. Uh, but breathing. Alive. And for the moment, not a danger to anybody. Can I um, use lesser restoration on myself to stop the lycanthropy? Where's the handbook? I have it. I'll look it up. I'm not sure if that works. That works I don't know. Like I want to see if it works. Um, well, if not, we're probably going to have meds. Is lycanthropy a disease? You could use, like, the uh, Lay on Hands, and then you could save both of us from lycanthropy, right? I mean, if it's a disease. Well, the lesser Lay on Hands right? is way less useful than you think it is, Shit. but more useful than we thought it was before. Mm. Yeah. I don't heal curses, I heal poison. Lesser Restoration. It touches a creature, and it does, uh, you can either end one disease. Is lycanthropy a disease? Or one Make condition? Make an Arcana check. Okay. Plus nine. Or one condition affecting it. Uh, it's 20 plus. You're pretty sure lycanthropy is not a disease, it's a curse. Or one condition, but the condition has to be blindness, deafness, paralyzation, or poisoning. Oh dear. I don't think that'll work then. Hmm. So you're pretty sure that spell would not work. Can you chop off your shoulder? I'll be willing to do that. <laughs> Alright, so I have a dagger. Oh, well. Two daggers, actually. That's not gonna work. If you chop off your no, shoulder... No, I'll just, I'll just heal it back up, dude. It's all good. I mean, I'll be w less of a man I used no, to be. No, you're but... already infected, maybe. No, it's dude. like The Walking Dead. No, we gotta get it quick before it starts spraying to the rest of my bloodstream. We so... need Meg. Yeah, we need Meg. Do you have an axe or something? I got he a has exclusively crossbows. <laughs> oh. I had I a dagger, know. but then I threw it, but then I turned it into a cross dagger bow. I had a bolas, but then I turned it into a cross bo uh, uh, bolas. You have a great sword, right? Um, Her right, long sword time. is currently hanging. Halfway up the mast. Yeah, it might be too late. Yeah, I'm, I'm, no, I guess I'll just I have to fight the bullet. I put away all my armor, armor somewhere. I I had assumed you would have your long sword at okay. your hip. Okay. You didn't say you didn't have your sword with you. You Good just point. said you took off your armor. Good point. Okay, so um. Well, can I wake she... her up? I'm gonna try waking her up to see if she remembers uh, anything. Yeah, you start shaking her, yeah. and there is no effect. She's she in is cap, just right? completely out. Can I shake her more? You shake her more. Uh. And Bruce eventually stops you, he says, that's not going wake to up. work. No. <laughs> we probably should not wake her up until the full moon has passed. Good point, okay. By the way, you got bit, didn't you? I did. I'm going to... I'm going to be a freak, you just like that person. You should probably get below decks, friend. I will. We should get out of a little deck, too, to make sure she don't see the full moon. I don't want any more fucking werewolves on my ship. Yeah, get that elf shot. below decks. Keep him as far away from the fucking moon as possible. But I like the moon. It makes me go, ooh. Can I put... Oh, oh, oh did I say that loud? My bad. I'm going below decks now. <laughs> yeah, I could go below decks. Bruce, take him below. The darkest part of the ship. Which is? And Bruce starts leading you Bruce, uh, into the ship. If I turn to a werewolf, <laughs> would you let me get a few hits in before you kill me? No one's killing anyone here, kid. So can I kill you then? If no, I, okay. I would rip your throat out if I trust But you me. said no one would kill anyone. I am. He's the exception. I am the exception. If you try to kill- if your entire damn- all of you and your damn friends become werewolves, I'm gonna have to kill you all of it. Okay. Alright. Or at least toss you over the side of the ship. Thanks, plane! There's Shut helicopter. up, plane! Ghetto bird! I think that's a helicopter. That'd be a helicopter. Who the fuck knows? Can't see, there's a campy. Um, he's like, it's alright, lycanthropy isn't as bad as you think it is. Yes, it is! It okay. makes me look stupid. Like you, you know, kind of stupid looking. Oh, sorry. That came out wrong. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> alright, well, and he's taking you down more and more stairs. Uh, until he, he comes to a door, and, uh, and you hear what sounds like people rowing down there. Oh, which you can no. assume, oh, this is where the crew is. And he takes this key, uh, because he picked up some keys from Sinbara on the way, because he is still naked. <laughs> he was in, he was a shark, he didn't have his clothes with him. They obviously don't transform with you. Uh, he unlocks the door, he opens it up, 
He's like, I'm not even gonna bother fucking. I'm not even gonna bother fucking blindfolding you to this part. He opens the door, and you see, working the oars of this ship, rowing nonstop, a bunch of skeletons, <laughs> lit up by the very sparse moonlight coming in through holes, and your dark vision. Okay. Keep moving. Wait, but the dead. Mm-hmm. But the dead. Keep moving, and he's like putting his hand on your back. Moving you forward. Do you think... Do you think they'll appreciate Ten Undead? I don't think they appreciate anything anymore. Oh, oh, okay. Do you think they still have aspirations? I sincerely hope not. <laughs> oh, right. But yeah, you see a collection of skeletons looking around. Some of them are very obviously human. Uh, a few are elves. One or two dwarves. And some of them, oddly enough... Are much larger and have horns coming out of their heads. Demons? Tiefling? Minotaurs. Uh, they they have pronounced snouts that make it seem like bull skulls. Oh, minotaurs. Boom, I knew it. Got and it he, the first go. He brings you to a, another door uh, at the other end of this hallway where all these rowers are. <coughs> Opens it up. It's like, all right, this is where we keep the food and storage of other things. Don't touch anything. Stay down here until we know you're safe. I am safe. I'm always safe. All right, Meg is here. Yay. So I don't have to come with a bullshit excuse for you to not get cured. <laughs> oh. Yay. All right. Have fun down here. We'll come get you in the morning. All right, wait, that wasn't his accent. We'll come get you in the morning. Many and we'll things. see how much you like being a were werewolf. And he what? pushes you down. And he closes the door and you hear it lock. <laughs> Let me out, you cunt! And it is, no. it is pitch dark in here. <laughs> well, I can't see! Him, well, he has dark vision, don't he? It's extremely dim in here. It's so dark, my dark vision but can't pick is, up anything! But there is no light. And you just hear nothing but the sound of the waves hitting the ship. Let me out! You vaguely feel and see some barrels around you. I'm scared of barrels! <laughs> Please! A barrel killed your dad! A barrel killed my father! And now he's gonna kill me! Uh, Gregory, what do you do? Uh, I'm going to be a um, uh, There is still the form of Whipper on the ground unconscious by I'm gonna you. take her back to whatever, wherever her little room is. Yeah, you take her back to her room, her bed. Uh, I'm not even gonna pick her up, I'm just gonna drag her. Okay, you just drag unceremoniously. Drag. Well, I'm Sin taller than you, so that makes sense. The captain helps you, you guys do- you yeah. got by the feet and arms. Oh my god, why is she so heavy? Fucking hell. <laughs> all right, you get her to the bed. Like, all right, on three, <laughs> one. You start swinging her. Two, three. three. <laughs> oh, we just toss Whipper onto a bed. Help me! I'm unconscious after being a werewolf. Okay. Meg's here. Say hi, say hi Meg. Hi, Meg. Oh, uh, don't, don't be like, <laughs> don't be that guy, Meg. Alright, so, uh, so yeah, you do that. Is there anything else you'd like to do? Where's John? He uh, he's go. not here. He's at lunch with his family. Oh, okay. I don't know. What do I want to do that doesn't involve me stealing all of Whipper's stuff and all the shit she just did? Uh, currently, uh, uh, uh most, oh, wait. Of, most of Whipper's armor appears to have been laid out around here, but her sword, as you notice, is still on the mast. Does? Outside. Is there a window? Uh, not in this room. You're on a ship. Okay, good. So I don't have to. I thought I don't have to go through all the trouble of like boarding up a freaking window. No. Okay. So okay. Um, you know what? Fuck it. Might as well go get that freaking sword for her. I'm gonna go get the sword. All right. So you go outside. You and uh, you see looking up at the crow's nest, about halfway hanging from uh, her sword belt, is this the long sword she picked up at the graveyard? Some How time the ago. fucking hell? <laughs> it, it had come loose. When she was still in werewolf form <laughs> and was sliding down. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you climb up about halfway and you have to like reach around to try and get it. You're like trying to dislodge it with a crossbow <laughs> or, or a broom or whatever you can get a hold of and eventually you do manage to get okay. it. Okay. <laughs> and you you manage to collect this long okay. sword, which now that you look at it closely is very nicely done. Is it my son's? It says it is not your son's. Okay, never mind. Uh, it has uh, raven feather motifs on the handle. Uh, and it has appear what appears to be celestial writing uh, along the blade. Okay. Very nice. Okay, um, you know what? I just got a fun idea. 
Oh no. Oh, I'm oh. if there I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna is there oh, any paper no. on this in my quarters? Uh no, not there's nothing in there besides what you put in there. Okay. You can certainly ask. I'm gonna go around I'm gonna go around and start asking for paper and ink. Parchment uh, and ink. Yeah, you ask Bruce after you see him coming I have up from no wherever. Dice today. Huh? I have no dice today. Here you can okay, borrow mine. You can borrow. I got mine. Here you can borrow mine. You want white or green? Green. Okay, so um, what was I thinking? Uh, Sorry. Okay. He's giving back to me. So yeah. you see Bruce coming up from no, uh, from wherever the hell he took Riordan, who got bit, and uh, he appears to be like putting. He grabs a pair of pants and starts putting them on. Okay. What, you just here for the show? <laughs> no, just wait for me to put your pants on. All right, well, they're on. I don't want to catch you with the pants down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, you got any parchment and ink? Uh, yeah, I think we got some somewhere. Okay, where, where is it? Why? Why do you need parchment? I'm going to write a, wi a letter to uh, a dragon boy friend. I'm going to take her sword. All right. Oh, not my magical sword. You have another one. No, my other sword is regular. That's my magical sword. All right, you take... Uh, That's my special Bruce takes sword. a moment. He goes into... <laughs> you see him disappeared below deck for a moment. Rare Dan Bruce comes in again. It's like... Mm. It's like, don't get excited. I'm just sitting here for paper. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, let me out! He has a lantern with him. <laughs> That's the only way <laughs> you've seen for the last half hour. And then he, Stop and it. he that leaves. That paper's not my paper. You guys, let me out! Comes to the door behind him, locks it, walks back away. You hear his footsteps receding. Get him, Julia! Get him! Uh, I bit right oh yeah, Julia's still okay, on your shoulder, isn't she? Is Julia on my shoulder? No. <laughs> kill him, Julia! Kill him! <laughs> you don't know He's where Julia is. Oh no, the, she'll hear me. Maybe not. The storage room in complete darkness. Please. I'm unconscious. Okay. Okay. This is why you don't make and a. This is why you don't miss a session. John's gonna be dead now. Right. <laughs> what am I doing right Duh. now? You're sleeping. Okay. Okay. Can um, I wake up? Uh. My screens will wake you up. <laughs> no, you're no? like deep below deck. So uh, I would say Meru being alert and these room you would you were sharing a room with Whipper and Lockbreak. Eventually, at some point, Meru catches the sight of the Captain Sinbada and Gregory <laughs> dragging unceremoniously between them, arms and legs, holding Whipper, and then tossing her onto the bed. I'm naked, by the way. Uh, mostly naked, covered in some amount of rags that used to be her clothes that are just completely torn up. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so... So when I wake up, I'm like, what, what, what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> Um, so I got this ink and parchment, right? You do. I'm gonna write down on this paper, word for word, uh, you turn into a werewolf, do not freak out, I swear to god, if you freak out, I will actually murder you. Love, Gregory. <laughs> P.S. You also owe me, like, a lot. I will, you will know what, oh, you, I, you owe me a favor. And you will know that I will require that favor when the time is right. <laughs> Holy oh, shit. Right. <laughs> what is this, like, fucking John Wick? <laughs> and then I'm going to walk back into her quarters. I'm going to just look. And Corvina's awake, right? Corvina's awake at I'm this like, point. I'm like, hey, I'm just going to slap that piece of paper <laughs> on her face. I'm going to read it. All right, you read it. It says exactly that. <laughs> I'm going to be like, oh. Okay, shit. Um, <laughs> okay, oh, I'm going also. to... I'm going to walk over to Whipper. Okay. Oh, before yeah. I tell I'm you gonna... had to just to get the piece of paper. Yeah. Okay. Well. You slapped it on her face. Oh. Okay. And I'm also going to tell you, like, although by the way, keep an eye on the road that Whipper bit him, so I might, he might, might not be a werewolf right now. We might, <sighs> might not have to kill him. <laughs> I am just, I am just fucking tired right now. I'm going to bed. You do that. Um, also, I got her sword. I'm keeping it. Sword. I'll give it to her when you wake up, then. I have something that might help. Mm -hmm. Lesser restoration, because we determined that won't yeah, work. Yeah, that won't work, trust. Oh, no, she has something. She has something. Is it normal restoration? No. 
Ooh. Adequate restoration. <laughs> Mediocre restoration. Mediocre restoration is. Eh. There's only restoration. four tiny cuts and stuff like that. Mediocre restoration. It's like it restores you, but like you still have the symptoms. How about more er, restoration? That's like placebo lesser restoration. restoration <laughs> is okay, honestly the I walk worst. up to Whiffer. I I touch her. I just kind of like oh god. Um. She is currently, like, bleeding from a lot of places, but she appears to be stable. Okay, okay. Like, most of the bleeding stop. It's just a lot of dried blood and... Alright. You're stuff. welcome. <clears throat> um, and I... I cast Remove Curse. Oh. Alright. That's a good spell. And you feel the magical effect take hold, and Whiffer, you are no longer a werewolf. Thank God! I don't know if you're a werewolf, though. <laughs> okay. And then, God damn it! You can make me use up all my slots. <laughs> nah, dude, it's all good. I mean, you like know, you still, it's still nighttime, so you can still technically get like a short or long rest. Look, yeah. let's think about this like optimistically. I haven't even got a chance to be a werewolf yet. She can. I mean, let's have. Let's I'll wait. walk over to Riordan. Shit, you don't know where you he don't is. know where he. You, you, have you to go into <laughs> where Riordan and the boys are staying. Yeah. And Riordan is not there. Okay. Um. I, I... You could ask. I, mean, I ask, yeah. Who do you ask? I ask whoever I can find. Alright, you find Gregory. I'm like, where, where's Rodan? I don't know, I'm pretty sure he might be dead. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I don't, I, I don't, I'm too tired to care at this moment. Asshole, asshole. I'm trying to... <laughs> you know what, do you know who would know? Eh, yeah, probably ask the were shark. Where is he? Bruce. I don't know. He's probably in the water. Might be scaring a clownfish in a blue tank somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone... If, 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 who got it? Kenny got it. I don't it. got it. I don't oh got it. Fish your friends. No food. Oh. <laughs> oh, screw you, bro. Come on. Kenny's yeah. the only one I got no, it. He's I the only got one it. I got it. It's yeah, but you didn't laugh. Now I got it's it. It's Finding got... Nemo. I made that character based on the joke yeah. of Finding Nemo, you <laughs> fucking dork. That's the reason why I made the joke. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so if Some anyone... guy asked me to help find his son. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so I'm probably just gonna. I'm going to sleep. I don't. I'll, if he's alive in the morning, yeah, that'll be that'd be cool. I I will walk around trying to find either Rodan or somebody who can tell me where Rodan is. Yeah. Eventually, you go on deck, I assume. Yeah. And you find Bruce. Okay. Uh, who appears to be skinning a or scaling a fish. Um. In the full moonlight, no effect, yeah. still completely human form. You've not seen him in any other form. Yeah. Okay. So, two questions. Mm. My father said you were a were shark. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh. You're not. Moon is. How is. I've been a were shark for a long time. I got it out of my system. I can control it at this point. So that's a thing. It is a thing being able to control. I can. I mean, you can turn any time you want. Under the full moon, you lose a little bit of control. Me, I've. I learned to live with my transformations. I've learned how to accept it into myself. My entire tribe did. Good on you. Yeah, no, it's good. Although were sharks are a bit different, so your friends might have a little bit more trouble with the whole werewolf thing. Well, I cured one. Okay. So the other one, who is a little bit. The elf. Yes. Um, I'm wondering where he is, so I can do the same. He puts his fish down in the knife and everything. Is like, all right, follow me. <clears throat> And he starts taking you uh, into the ship again, going downstairs, and you come to a door that you tried to go in before, but it was locked. Yeah. Takes a ring of keys, opens it up, and you see the same sight Ray or Dance saw earlier, which is, this is where all the oars are, and you just see a bunch of skeletons working the oars, rowing. <laughs> Non-stop. <laughs> Elf, human, dwarf, a few minotaur skeletons. Wait, are they undead? They are skeletons. 
So yes, they are undead. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Crisis! Crisis! Oh boy. He's down here, and he takes you straight past a whole bunch of them. Keep calm. She, she, I don't want to sleep down would, there. <laughs> Please. To a door at the end of the hallway. I do not want to sleep down Opens there. Opens it Please. up. Roar Dan, you still, or he at least knocks like, hey elf, you still a, you still an elf in there? I'm king of the barrels. <laughs> <laughs> a barrel get his father. That's canon now. I He's killed good. the greatest barrel. Come get him. He opens it up. He's he's got a lantern with him, and you see where Erdan is just in this small storage room <laughs> that has a bunch of barrels and sacks in it. Have the lights. Okay. Um, I go over to him. No. I'm like. No, you're going to kill me. Have the barrels. I'm like, no, I'm not going to kill you. Just oh. stay still. And I put my hand on him, and I cast Remove Curse. And Rorden, you feel a great weight lifted off your shoulder. Shoulders. S shoulders. Mostly the heavy, hurting shoulder. Uh, <laughs> uh, but you feel you feel a little less excited and angry and stuff, and you feel more like yourself. Your crazy uh, self. Your normal, your normal crazy self. Uh, why'd you do that? No one has ever done anything good for me, but you did. Why? He's having a monologue again. I guess because you're my friend. Wow. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. These guys are assholes. Fuck these guys. These guys have mm. no ambition. Are you sure? I feel like tools. you could use a few more hours down here. <laughs> no, no. Um, <laughs> Just be safe. This is your crew. Yeah, that's the crew. We save a lot of money not paying or feeding a crew. <laughs> it's a skeleton crew, get it? <laughs> hey, there we go. Carvina's having crisis, isn't she? Oh yeah, Raven Queen hates undead, despite the fact one of her priests is undead. Uh -huh. That's fucked up. <laughs> her, it's a ghost. Yeah, which is undead. Corvina, you seem to be having... You don't know what for, Mr. You seem to be having some problems. Uh, what's wrong? Um, nothing, nothing. Um. It's okay, you can tell me, I'm your friend! I'm your friend, Little Riordan! Everyone, get above decks now, this ain't a pleasure cruise. Let's go. As you wish, sir! And I'm just gonna scamper right up to be with my friends. Yep, all your friends are currently asleep. Or trying to sleep. Damn it. Well, I am to totally them. knocked out. How big is this ship? It's a pretty big ship. Like, I need dimensions. I don't have dimensions for you. It's I it's a ship! It's like a longboat, but a little bit bigger. Like, it's... There to there, I would say. Actually, longer a little bit. Pretty big. Hold on. What do you want? What are you trying... I'm trying to see if I should... If I can leave Meru in this room. Come on, let's go. None to see here. Just a bunch of skeletons. Doing skeleton things. In skeleton ways. Spooky, scary skeletons. You might want to get out. Time. You don't want one of them to pop a boner. Oh, no. Who's going to run out of bones? Yo. All right, so, Meg. Yo, what the fuck? Meg, what do you want to do? It's a um, heretic. You need to leave. Bruce keeps telling you. Do you think they have bleed resistance? Uh. Rarodan has left. Currently, Bruce is holding the door waiting for you to get out. Like 200%. Yeah. Get the None to do down here. I'll Everyone leave needs their sleep. With the key to this room. Huh? I'll leave with the key to this room. He has the key. Oh. Can I try and take it from him? Stealthily? You want to pickpocket it? Right. Give me a slide of hand check. Oh god, this is not my forte. Nope. You can do Are it. Are you gonna Kobe. destroy their livelihood? I don't know. Okay, <laughs> this is this is not what I I can't I can't let this go. 
This is, <laughs> this is your up. father's friend! Nah, dude, fuck this guy. Who if happens to be your If he catches me, I'll explain, but... I'm not gonna... I'm not... Uh, I don't know. She just needs to... Thirteen. Fifteen. Alright, so you walk by, and you very stealthily... Uh... Yank the the keys off his. The Doesn't key he ring need to make door. a perception check to he see? He did. If, oh, okay. And uh, you think you did it fairly well, and then he goes to close the door, and then he goes to lock it, and realizes his key ring is missing. He's like, "Hey, which one of you take my key? Not one of the You take my things. keys. <laughs> no, I just don't the fab's way. Where'd my keys go? I had them like two seconds ago. He opens the door again and he's like around. crazy. What do you want to do, Meg? I'm pledged to serve the Raven Queen. Uh huh. That's real nice. Where are my keys? Cold as stone! Cold as stone! I'm giving you stone. these keys because you're my father's friend. You're giving me these keys because they don't belong to you. <laughs> <laughs> no. I love Bruce. So, so can I have my keys back now? I hand him the keys. Alright, he takes them, he locks the door, puts them back on his belt, starts walking back up deck. I sit in front of the door. All right. And go to sleep in there. Okay, that's very uncomfortable. Yes. Uncomfortable. Yeah. All right, and you all get the effects of a long rest. Oh, ah, thank God! Day. Yay! Beautiful, Will. beautiful. Well, I just get too lucky and too battle master. I don't get anything else. You fucking suck, Andy! I swear the fuck. Oh, by the way, I also reclaim my bloody ball, right? You do, you do, okay. you would have reclaimed that. Oh, shit, you know, I just realized something. What? I ha she is really not cool of undead. Yeah. And I just picked up animate, un animate dead. Oh my god. <laughs> you can swap it out anytime. <laughs> can, I, can I swap it out right now? You can swap that out. Alright. So I'm gonna give that man a handbook. Yeah, yeah. wait, I can finally, I can finally, I don't um, want to cause, like, do that like, thing I wanted. Contention okay, in the which party, one you know? I take like, out? Okay, Whipper, you come to. Extremely sore, with a lot more wounds and scars than you remember having. The fuck yesterday. happened? Your clothes are in tatters. <coughs> I'm, de I'm indecent. Why? Is, is there is the paper still on her face? <laughs> but there's a paper right by you. I, I like. Um, I read it. I put it down. I sit there, just complicate, contemplate. What the fuck happened last night? Cause I I'm trying to come into ter I'm still trying to come to terms of what the fuck just happened. I'm le I'm like naked I'm <laughs> naked and I'm in I'm bloodied and um that does not send yeah. very good signals to me. No no yeah no there's like there's like woo there's like marks in you where like cross everything is healed up because you were stabilized. But, like, there is dry blood because no one took the time to actually take care of you or clean you up over the course of the night. So there's just, like, dried blood and spots where, like, crossbow bolts win and uh, and sl a slash mark across your arm. Uh, yeah. I probably will clean there's up... Just, there's a big patch of weird scarification on the side of your body. <coughs> That you're not. That it looks like scratches. You're not exactly sure where that came from. And you have you you recollect weird flashes of just primal bloodlust, but nothing specific. Just like just just flashes, like a dream. You don't really remember all that and, much. And it's like as I recall to if I as I recall the letter that I read shortly is like. Oh my god, the fucking werewolf from the other night. Yep. And so I clean up, I put on some fresh clothes. 
I stomp up up deck because I realize where the fuck is my magic sword? And I go up to the deck and I'm like, where the fuck is my sword? I'm still in my quarters at this point. All right, Sinbada, who is the only person on deck at the moment. So. Your friend took it. Which one? Uh, the one with the mustache. Gregory's the only one with the mustache? Yeah, uh, actually, Aurora didn't have some too. The human one with the mustache. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry. Everyone, there is choking. Quick, give her the high one. Meg, punch her in the stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you caused a lot of trouble last night. I'm sorry. I didn't know. I don't know what happened last night. This I don't time, know. What happened. It's not the first time I've had to deal with lycanthropes. Sorry about your arm. Uh, Get uh, that taken care of. There's some swabs and some medical alcohol downstairs. Bruce can hook you up. Thank <laughs> you. But first, I I like I go down to the. Also, get yourself a breakfast. You people brought nothing but meat. <laughs> Grab a fucking lime. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get to that later. Meat has moved. You're vitamins. all going to get fucking scurvy. <laughs> meat has vitamin C in it. <laughs> Not very much. Not much, but have enough. Anyway, so I go down to the boys' room. I kick yeah. I, I kick down the fucking door. It's like Gregory. Give me a strength yeah, check to kick down the door. <laughs> I'm probably gonna fail, but. 19. Um, plus my strength, that'd be Check. 21. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the door just goes open like a cartoon in one fell movement. <laughs> and just slams into the other, into the wall. <laughs> There's like cracks around the side of the door now. <laughs> Gregory! Everyone in the room, all three of the boys, wake up. <laughs> Even Delm? Uh. And Delm, yeah, Delm is there. Like eh. all four of the boys wake up instantly. <laughs> eh, eh. Lockbreak makes a like, like makes a scream of like, ah! Girlie screaming, he's like in his underwear, and like falls out of bed. <laughs> Gregory, where's my sword? Oh yeah, I took it off on you, so you don't have a weapon when if you ever wake up and try to murder people as a werewolf. Well, I'm cured now, so I can have it back now. Oh, you don't know you're cured. Yeah. What? You don't know. Well, I'm not a werewolf now, so I can have it back now. I don't know. It's a magic sword, and you might turn into a werewolf again. It's fucking morning. Yeah, but what if it's an early moon? You'll turn into something like a were hyena. Just give me back my sword. Yeah, okay. Were hyena. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Time to go eat me meat and not care about me vitamin C intake. <laughs> Breaking up the fourth wall. Uh, so, okay, anyway, time for breakfast. I'm going upstairs now. Yeah, I'm gonna eat the meat. I'll cook you up a nice meat dinner or meat breakfast. If you have any bacon, that's nice. I'm gonna see how much he's got. Meat. A lot of bacon. There, I got please. five pounds of bacon. Yeah, I actually got five pounds of bacon. I have four bacon pounds. by the pound. Yeah, I got four pounds left. <laughs> so I go, I go upstairs to um, what's the captain's name again? Simbada. He's on Simba. the top deck Simba. steering. Where are the lines? Like there's some in a barrel by the front door. Thank you. I go. I go. Try yeah, to find right the by. You find it. There's a barrel right by the entrance to the lower decks. Uh, that is just that just has a lot of fruit and limes and stuff in it with it. Yeah. Just for the Lemons. sake of comedic effect, I just take one whole lime and just chew. Uh, just throw it in my mouth and just start chewing on it. <laughs> Dragonborn mouth and munching on a lime. <laughs> uh, I'm going to uh, make breakfast out of a pound of bacon, <laughs> ten sausages. And whatever fruit they got. I want to make it like, you know, sprinkle a bit of lime, like a little orange. Put the lime in the cooker and that you drink it all up. All right. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, uh, give me a cooking check. Okay. What, what would that be? Just roll a d20. Okay. I'll roll that again. Is Carmina still in front of that undead army door? Uh, she would be. 12. Yeah, that'd be 12. Do I, get, uh, do I add anything, or is it just a No, you don't add 12? anything. Okay, it's good. 12. It's a, it's a decent meal. Okay, cool. How much grease do I get out of this? Oh my god. Damn it, boy. He's gonna make his fire arrow. Fuck, fire how much bolts. did you cook? A pound of bacon and ten sausages. Jesus Christ. Okay, um... Like, a little less than what this can hold. Not a lot. Okay, how many arrows can I cut with that? Or bolts can I cut with that? Maybe like three. Okay, never mind. I'll four. save it for later. I'll save it for later. 
I want to coat. I want to coat like a hundred arrows at a time. Okay. That's why I wanted the bucket. Madman. Okay. Uh. All right. So yeah. Uh. Fire everyone arrows. starts waking up. Corvina, you wake up with an extremely stiff neck. Yeah. After spending all night on the floor, leaning, basically sitting. Yeah. On wood. Very uncomfortable. Uh. But you have awoken. Nothing appears to have entered or gone through this door at any point. Um, I'm call. I'm gonna be calling out to Corvina because dinner. I mean, Forget breakfast is ready, and I'm like, "Where's Corvina and the and Zandrea?" Yep. Zandrea is probably still still like in a separate part of a separate room. Zandrea was in the same room with you guys. Oh. I uh, right. And she comes out and she's just like, "Do you people eat anything besides meat?" Unfortunately, when you're with a guy, this guy probably not. All right. There is some lime though. There are any fruits though. I'm not well, gonna question it. We're the only people in my in flock ten that is able to eat meat, because we're the only ones who raises sheep. <laughs> everyone else is vegetarian or something. No, everyone's also a farmer. Oh. All hey. right. Um. So yeah, you guys come together. You have a, a very nice breakfast prepared by Gregory Gregory of sausage and bacon and some other fruits and stuff. I'm concerned, and like, I'm, since I don't know I'm cured yet, I'm just like, I'm, I'm like, I'm concerned about tonight. Do I have to, do you have like a dark, dark room I can go to tonight? Cause Wait, am I there? Yes, you're there. Yeah. Oh. I'm like, dude, I cured you. Wait, what? I cured you. Oh. Okay, then. You were asleep. I cured you. Oh, thank you, Corvina. No problem. I'm very out of it at this, at this, at this, uh... She is, she looks very tired. I'm very tired, and I'm also very, very... Salty? I don't know. <laughs> not, not salty, exactly. More Keep like... No, more just like... Distraught? Offended? Yeah, distraught. Okay, so after a short break, uh, where the stop recording button accidentally got hit, didn't miss anything, uh, so yeah, you guys are having breakfast, uh, you have been cured. Yes, I've been told I've been cured. Okay. Is there anything else anyone would like to do? Um, I see how Corvina ti- how, t- how Corvina ti- how tired Corvina is, I'm like, Corvina, are you okay? You don't look like you, you look like you woke up on the wrong side of the bed. No bed. Wood. Oh, dear. <laughs> Undead crew. Wait, what? Undead crew. Is Bruce at the table with us? No. Oh. Undead crew. Yeah, there's a big crew under there. Rowing, dwarves, elves, minotaurs, the whole like. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, a lot of them. Yeah. They seem to be very dedicated to the work. Well, then again, really uh, Bruce told me they had no ambition. Yeah, we can't really have a mission when you're, like, immortal. I suppose, yeah. I mean, after you start living forever, what do you really strive to do, right? Yeah. <laughs> if you live forever, that means you have a 100% chance of doing everything you ever wanted. Well, there's benefits to your mortality. Don't eat your I would mouthful. Know. <laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say don't eat with your mouthful? No, no she said it. Yeah, she said. I know. I'm not looking at either of you. I'm looking at the garden and saying this, <laughs> but I'm 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 talking to you. Yes. I'm just looking in this direction because it's easier for my eyes. <laughs> yes. I yes yes yes. Okay. <laughs> just clearing that up. Okay. Who made this? Gregory, of course. Phil- yeah. Phillips. Yep. Sprinkled in some light, some light. Oh, lemon. Phillips, this is very good. I just might not kill you. What did you say? Uh. I said, I just might not piss blue. I'm pretty sure you said you might not kill me. <laughs> Which I won't. I feel the feeling you're trying to kill me. I'm not. Is that why you were to visit in the kitchen last night? So about the undead crew, yeah, it's terrible, right? <laughs> it's horrible. the subject. No, it's horrible. Okay. We got to stop them. I don't know. I trust Bruce. If we have an undead crew, I'm not gonna kill. I'm just gonna let it slide. Listen, Corvina. If you ever need help killing a lot of undead, 
I can help you. You're more murdering the man's livelihood here. He murdered their lifehood. Well, That's we're not worse. very sure if he killed those people. Oh, oh no, we did. We're a shark and everything. Wouldn't those people like to go meet their ancestors or Anyways, something? I'm going to go figure out how long until we get to Black Rock. Black Shore. Black Shore. Right. The island is Ebon Rock. Or Black Ebon Rock. The city is Black Shore. Okay, I'm going to go to um, um, Simbada. Alright, Simbada, you see him just coming downstairs, actually, because Bruce is taking over the steering. Yep, yep, yep. It's like, I'm going to bed, nobody fucking bothered me for Wait, another question. 10 hours. question! How long until we get to fucking city? Four days, maybe five. Ah, okay, fine. Let's just hope we don't go against the Kraken or something. That would suck. <clears throat> don't give him um, ideas. That's something I plan on doing. You know, until something else happen, I'm just going to spend the entire day just pacing around the top of the deck and... Shooting a makeshift target out of I don't know what what's what's their barrels. They are using they are using a lot of the barrels, uh, but you could find some materials of like mops and pillowcases. Yeah, I'm just gonna find a bunch of like random stuff and use them for target practice. Just boredom. All right, Gregory doesn't really have much to do when there's nothing around. He's a sheep farmer. He most of his days just farming his sheep. Um, just. Do that too. I'll join you. Okay. All right. So Corvina and Gregory spend the day uh, shooting at a crossbow target. Would anyone else like to do anything? Whipper, you need some new clothes, but you you have a few spare sets yep. in your bag, so you change into one of those. Yep. Going back up the crow's nest because I still love the view. She right. she has a uh, noble. She's a noble, right? She is. Oh yeah, so you have a f set of fine clothes you could change into. You do, you have a set of very fine clothes. Very fine clothes. <laughs> Made of silk and everything. Uh, yeah, so yeah, you, you get you get those out. Um, uh, where's perfect. Julie? That's a good question. <laughs> Wait, didn't Gregory throw Julie off board? No. That was not canon. That was not canon. Damn it. Uh, yeah, you're, you're actually, you spend a quite a bit looking for her. And then you just hear, like, a girl scream. <laughs> and you see Lockbreak come running out of where what you know to be the privy. Uh, it's like, You're a fucking dog! It's <laughs> <laughs> fucking bullshit, man! Thank you for I fighting. can't take this anymore! Thank you for finding it, Lockbreak. You're a good friend. Like you, yeah, you go in there and you find uh, Julie holding a dagger... <laughs> <laughs> like this. <laughs> I grab Julie, I take the dagger, and I'd like to hand it back it's to It's actually Lock your dagger, too. <laughs> Shit, really? You realize picking it up. Look, break. We're still friends, right? Dude, keep that thing away from me. Friendship! And Julie says she's sorry as I take the dagger and pocket it. Good day! <laughs> Is there anything else you'd like to do? Oh, you're asking me? Yeah, that is all you did. So I guess I'll just go back to my room and just like have a conversation with, with myself. You know what? Yeah, three-way conversation with the doll, me, and me. Turns out Julie's possessed by the same ghost girl that possessed Lockbreak. Dude, that would suck. Sorry for killing you. Wait, no, I didn't kill you though. Hmm. Yeah, being dead sucks, right? It must really suck, Julie. Well, then again, I've never been dead. But I tell you, one time, one time, I was very close to death. Giant Poljic, his name was. I'm pretty sure he's dead. And I hope he's dead. He treated me terribly. Kind of like how that bird treats you. Maybe that's why you want to kill him. Hmm. Anyway, you're going to be happy where we're going. We're going to find Mother. I ever told you about my mother? A good woman she is, and you're going to be her gift. I'm gonna give you to mother. Oh my god. Right my mother thinking. loves dolls. This is gonna be the entire episode, by the way. And I'm gonna start combing her hair and saying, you know, you're gonna look good for mother, you know? She likes dolls that are very, very neat. Julie? No, Julie, no. You cannot have more candy. Damn it, where am I gonna get candy? On a ship! What was that? Kill Phillips? Oh. Oh, yes. I've been trying. No! 
No, I can't. I really did try. I tried so many times. What? Oh, no, lock break. Yeah, all right, right. No, I mean, with the way he's been doing, I think he might just kill himself. Honestly. Uh, oh, don't say I said that, though. <laughs> all right. Yeah, that's a... That's as far as I'm going. <laughs> no, no, keep going. We're gonna turn this entire episode. No, no, I, no, that was great. Um, <laughs> yeah, you this guys. Entire episode just gonna be uh, you talking to yourself. Whipper, can you make me a perception check? All right. For what? Because I'm loving the closeness. He's chilling, man. Right? He's enjoying the view. Seven. All right, cool. And Bruce is currently uh, using the steering wheel. Oh Let me guess. We're gonna start fighting freaking dolphins. <clears throat> uh, you do see some dolphins happening alongside the ship. They're cute. Oh, they're good eating. Uh, <laughs> I, I assume I've never eaten a dolphin before, but they look like they're pretty good eating. And uh, do you? Does anyone do anything else? For the rest of the day? No, I'm just gonna stick to the crow's I'm nest. Gonna, well, I'm, if nothing happens before we go to bed. You know what? I'm just gonna spend the rest of the afternoon just fishing. Ooh, wait. All right. I'm gonna practice the tambourine because I have it now. All right, make practice. You can practice your tambourine. Yeah. Do I have to roll uh, for that? Or? Gregory, you can make a fishing check. Will be survival. It is survival. I'll be twenty. Not that. All right, yeah, you catch a bunch of fish. Woo! And make a Ooh. perception check. Me? You. Oh. Pretty. What are you perceiving? I don't know. Dun dun dun. That will be a thirteen. Yeah, right. thirteen. You notice while you're fishing, you know, you catch you catch a fish. You know something in the water, and you realize it can't be a fish that you're pulling up oh. because you've just <laughs> reeled in, and you see this monstrous green shape, almost humanoidish. Oh dear God! We got ourselves a mermaid. Actually, I don't know what the hell this is. What are you? And it, it sees you, and its face comes up, and you just see this ugly, fish-like face, humanoid-ish. There's a fin, a dorsal fin, going along the head. <gasps> These black soulless eyes. It is not gray, like it is not grayish like Bruce. This one is completely green, and there's two fins off to the side. And it goes, and it, as soon as it, you acknowledge it. It goes into the water. Well, that just happened. I'm gonna tell Bruce about this. Bruce! Yeah. I found some kind of weird green thing that under like it just went under the water. It had fins for ears and green eyes, and it was green and it would look like black a person. Eyes. Black. It had black eyes and green fins and looked like a person. I don't know what it is. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> It didn't look like Marino? Who? The guy from the... Fuck it, never mind. And he uh, stops what he's doing, jumps off the ship, you watch him turn into a shark. Well, that's terrifying. I'm gonna have nightmares. <laughs> and uh, the ship is just kind of floating along by itself for the next few minutes. And at a certain point, like, looking off in the distance, and Whipper, you actually see this too, in the direction, <laughs> roughly in the direction Bruce went, you see a cacophony of <laughs> splashes and stuff. The fuck? Followed by, like, <laughs> reddish mist kind of flowing from that area. Ah, shit. And after a little bit, Bruce comes back, his mouth is covered in blood. <sighs> Fucking Sagwin. What? Evil fishmen. Are those, like, the little fucking blue sheep fuckers? No, they're worse. How so? Uh, they take slaves, they kill people. All oh, the slaves don't last long, so they usually just kill people. Oh, so they're people sheep fuckers. They're, they're ship raiders and shit. They're awful. Kill them when you can. If you see another one, shoot it. Okay. Or tell me. Or both. <laughs> I'll do all three if I okay. It looks like that one was just scout. Well, there's more of them? There's there's a lot more, but it wasn't a boarding party, so we should be good for now. What the fuck was that? I called down there. So Don't worry wins. about it. Keep an eye out for him. Okay. I'm gonna continue fishing. 
All right, you do so. You catch quite a many fish. Wait, doesn't that mean Corvina saw saw it because she was with Gregory? She was. She did not say she was also fishing. So I was not also fishing. She was target practicing. I was target practicing. Oh, okay. Now. Okay. Now I'm off on my own. I'm. I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to go into a corner and uh, actually I'm going to go over to Gregory and I'm going to be like, do you still have my locket? Uh, I actually don't know. Like, I generally don't remember that. You never gave it back. Yeah, I never did. Uh-huh. So you wouldn't. Oh. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. I I'm very... I, I don't remember a lot of stuff for some reason. I think I might have brain damage. Well, if you have it, can I have it? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And I go off to a corner and I and I open it up and I look at the picture of my mother and I I uh I have to look something up real quick, so somebody else can do All right, something. what do you... All right. Is there anything else anyone would like to do? Would we like to end the day? Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, we're going to have a long rest after this, right? Yep. All right, can I... Can I cast Speak with Dead on Julie? Shit, no. What? You, you cast have a spell? Speak with Dead? Yeah. Oh, I, I can Speak with the Dead, so... Oh, she's not actually dead. Well, she's just possessed by demons. Oh, that'd be even you more interesting. You would have gotten some new spells from your rating thing stuff. Huh? Yeah, I just, I just got the, I just remembered to write them in. Yeah. Did you get spells from being a knowledge player? No, you have the, you have the option to take spells. Not, you don't just get them. Oh, no. you don't? Okay, no. that's news to me. No, you, you, you have the it, option to. It take enters them. Uh, your spell list, right? Yeah, so you, like... you, that's basically just spells okay, you're no, capable of getting. Yeah, checking. Huh. What would have gone? I would have gone speak with dead anyway. So, yeah. All right. So you cast speak with dead on Julie. What did she say? Uh, there is no response. You, you Damn can't it. do it because it it has to be. Generally, a speak with dead is used for corpses. It has to be oh. a corpse. Too bad you didn't. Too bad we didn't kill Whipper so you could try it out. Yeah, dude. What? I I mean uh uh yeah I mean you know, that'd be terrible. You know? Dicks. Um. <laughs> All right. Um. So yeah, everyone, everyone consensus end the day for now. I. Yeah. I am so bored. <laughs> Where is a sheep herd when you need it? This time I go to sleep in my bed. How much sheep? Uh, how much? Actually, how many fish did I catch? Like five. Okay. Good sized ones too. Everything else is just throwback? Yeah, everything else was a throwback. Some of them it's like, eh, I'm not taking this. At one point you catch a starfish and it's like, nah. <laughs> How does... Okay, yeah, sure, why not? You can do that if you're trailing the bottom. Mm -hmm. Alright, so you guys go to sleep for the night. You all get your spells back. And you wake refreshed the next day. You. I am so bored! <laughs> Welcome to the life of sea travel. This is why I didn't choose piracy as a job profession. It is just so boring except for like one day of the month. <laughs> well, this is this. I, I don't want us to die, so I'm not gonna like kill the crew, but... Why not? Because they don't want us to die. Oh, that's very kind of you. And also, I don't want to, like, destroy their livelihood. You're a good person. Right, Phillips? Good people. We're all good people. Yeah, yeah we're all good people. I don't know about you, though. We're all good people who don't want to kill each other. Yeah, I don't know about you, though. You straight up said you wanted to murder me late after that. No, I did. I said I didn't want to murder you. You said you might not. Told me I won't. 
don't talk about your mouthful. It makes it hard for me to. It makes it hard for so me. So we to need argue. a plan when we get to Blackshaw. You know, uh, like what? I don't know. Anything other than talking about me killing you. Corvina, you're going to punch him if he murders me, right? Oh yeah. Okay, good. Just want to you know, thank you, darling. He <laughs> saves me to get you a priest. A I am a priest. priest. I am a priest, don't a you know? A better priest. We need to get him a fucking girlfriend. <laughs> You or know, boyfriend. that might be an answer. That might be the answer. Or, or, you know, girlfriend. Or, you know, just someone that can beat his ass every time he tries to say someone. I have like. the company of myself. And I yeah, feel that. Yeah, he already has a boyfriend. It's himself. I love myself. Oh, so you mean his right hand Ronaldo. <laughs> Don't you dare say that about Ronaldo. <laughs> Ronaldo's more than a right hand, mate. Ronaldo is an inspiration. He's been with me all my life. Yeah, ever since you were born. And then there's Julie. And then there's Julie. Oh yeah, you mean the little girl that tries to murder that one. Your friends are weird. Well, you are my friends. And friendship is magic. I'm gonna punch you. Oh my god. I'm gonna hit you with this bat. Oh shit. Where'd you get that bat? I cast spiritual weapon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just said no, people. I actually in the, in the have shape of a bat, a plastic bat, not in game, in real life. I'm holding it right now. I am thinking of hitting Kenny with it. That's fucked up, man. Yeah, that, that's what I thought. I don't actually cast spiritual weapon, by the way. I'm gonna cast. No. Don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna cast the all-important spell of don't give a fuck. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna figure out what the hell to do. Gregory is just bored out of his fucking mind. I'm so bored, I'm gonna cast Spare the Dying on myself. I wanna see what happens. <laughs> Nothing. Shit. You know what? This is going on. I'm, I'm just gonna walk up there. I'm like, who wants to fight me? We're doing a Spartan match. This is happening. You all are like the pansies. Who wants to fight me? Oh, dude, you gotta train her for the Agnor fight, dude. Oh, yeah. Yeah, dude. Got We're gonna, for the Agnor fight. I'm what? gonna show you how to kill a man. Um. You and me, we're gonna spot and train. I'm gonna teach you how to kill that guy that killed your dad. Because I know about people who want to kill your dad. Specifically, your dad. Um. Okay. Farmer Gregory would like to battle. Gregory summons Ryorda. Gregory summons War Sheep. I am concerned with things. Go, Celestial Steed. Did you swap out your spells? Oh, not yet. I forgot about that. But um, I'm trying to figure out which one to take out. I know I want Celestial. I know I want. Um, the steed thing. What was it? Fine steed. Fine Fine steed. Get over here so I can help you fight like uh, a real Phillips. What are you doing? If you want to murder me now, it's your chance. No, I prefer subterfuge and poisoning. Okay, so Look, I have to be If you want to so steal my stuff, I'll give you whatever money I have left. Lockbreak has been eyeing you very nastily since you nearly shot him to death. <laughs> <laughs> so he's just like up in the crow's nest where Rip Whipper usually is, which is very fitting for him. Hey! <laughs> and he's just like, and as soon as you talk to him, he just kind of like sinks lower into the crow's nest. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. you can't see him. Alright. I took out Heroism and Anyone gonna accept my challenge, by the way? Whipper, do you accept Gregory's challenge? Uh... Does anyone to accept his challenge? Juan v. Juan. Juan v. Juan. One, one v. One, and I just challenge everyone to a fight. 1v1, one one, dude. 1v1. One one. Even Bruce. And... Uh, I don't think the captain is on deck, is he? He's sleeping. Yeah, uh, even Bruce, but... Is he going through sea madness? Is Gregory I am through... bored! <laughs> he needs to fight. If you don't fight him, I will. Um... Well, you you're, might... you're you're holding the you're holding the boat down, so don't don't actually fight, please. He's scared. He's a pussy. He doesn't want to fight. I don't want to get lost at sea. Um, what was Branding Smite again? It's a really good book. Whipper, do you accept the fight? I will. Sure. Why not? As right. long as we don't hey. actually kill each other. 
All right, we can we can do this by you can actually try to murder each other, or we can do this uh, no, dude, by training rules. I'll spare the dying loser. Which is where loser. you bring whoever brings the other person to bloodied first wins. Oh. Um, I let's go through training rules because I don't want either of us to actually. Yeah. Start. Yeah, this is a smart right? You start a murder yes. psychopath. So you lose when you're at twenty four, right? Yeah. Oh, wait, no. You oh, will yeah. lose twenty nine. Twenty nine. You, you will lose if Gregory brings you to. Half of 47, Half of 47, which is... Round down or round up? Round up. Or round down. 20... Yeah, I'm going to yeah. go with branding smile. No, 20, All right, so erase the spell. 24, round 24. Round up. Yeah, 24 rounded up, it. yeah. 23, 23 round down. So 24? 24. 23. 23. Round down. Okay, round okay. Try, try three. Okay. So she has to bring you to 29, you have to bring him to 24. Okay. All right. So, Whipper, uh, do you put your armor back on? Uh, yeah, I might as well put my armor back on if we're going to do this. Alright, you put your ar- you take the ten minutes it takes to put on your armor. Uh, Kirby's just like, oh. <laughs> Eventually, Whipper comes back out. <clears throat> Fully armored, ready to, ready to trade. So, how, long, how far Gregor, away are you we? Your armor let's, say we're tw- let's say we're like 20 feet away from each it's other. It's your choice, you're the one fighting. Yeah. How big is the sheep? You can get as far away from each other as you really need okay. to. Ten paces, then we then we turn around and fight. Okay. All right, you guys are ten feet from each other. Like the twenty feet. Of the Should we roll initiative? Uh, yes, roll initiative. Okay. okay. So the rest you of you are watching, I imagine, as Gregory and Whipper are having this standoff. Oh. What was the initiatives? Fourteen and then ten. 14. I got thirteen. Thirteen. Oh. All right. So, Whipper, what would you like to do? Yeah, I will charge at him and s- try to swipe at him with one of with my regular sword, with my regular longsword. So, regular longsword, not the magic one. Not the magic one. All right. The what magic one's too roll? powerful. Fourteen. I keep on forgetting what it's. You have plus. a plus four, I believe. Plus four. To hit with your normal one. Um, Just subtract one from all your shit. Oh yeah, I forgot to put this you don't, back. You don't I, have to. I should probably. You yeah, don't have to so alter it. Just remember. It would be eighteen. Then. Lucky, Sorry, that's hit. Oh. He's using lucky on you. You have to. God re-roll. damn it, Andy! Stop <laughs> doing that. Do you hate me that much? I'll try to win. That's a natural twenty. Okay. So well, no, no. You. Here's the thing, though. With lucky, I get to choose whether or not which one I get she rolls. That's right. So oh. I'm going to choose the eighteen. That's still fine, she head. still hits you. So it's not gonna be doubled. That's fine. fine. That, that's that's good. <laughs> Dick. Um, so uh, you still managed to do uh, damage to him. So roll your D eight. Alright, so D eight and then plus four, so it would be seven. You take seven points of damage. Okay. As Whipper rushes forward and she looks like and she does a faint. And for a second you realize, oh, this could be really bad. <laughs> and you try to get out of it. Ah! And she just slashes you across your armor. Uh, okay. And it hurts. Ah, God damn it! It cut off a bit of my chest there! Yeah, you're going to have a bruise in the morning. Okay. Well, I'm going to take two shots. You have two attacks, actually. Now. Yay! <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot about I that. Forgot about the, I forgot about the extra multi-attack I have now. That's um, 11. 11 plus... Four... Um, That's so 15, not gonna 15. hit. Uh, Alright, all right, and so. she tries to get in another hit, but you just managed to dodge out of the way of that one. <laughs> Gregory, okay. your turn. I'm gonna fire twice at her. Okay, here we go. I will have my shield up for this. You do? So it's 18. That'll be, be the first one will be 15. That one here. Yep. How much you have? Um, 16 might for regular, but if I have my shield up, it's 18. Okay. And that will be 14. Not gonna so yeah, you take out two light crossbows. However, no, it's one light crossbow. I'm just firing. Oh, oh, you're just like because light crossbows are two-handed. Remember? Yeah, yeah. Okay, right. However, so you take out charge. All right. God, fuck. Two more attacks. Yeah, and this time I'm going to actually add two both battle master abilities on her. What a what you're ability. going all out on me here. Dis, uh, disarming strike both. All right. I'm gonna need a handbook. 16 plus X. Yeah. Proficiency. 21 to hit. God damn it. So that was 5. Hey, Romeo. Hey, buddy. That's a neon green. So it won't be 14. I no, that won't hit. Okay, so the, no so hits? Only one. Uh, the one with them will hit. 
Which one? Uh, the uh, first one. You used, you're disarming for both of them? Yep. What are you guys right. doing? So. You have to make a strength check, otherwise you will... Yeah, you need to make a strength saving throw, Whipper. So, Gregory, uh, fast as lightning, faster than any of you have ever seen him move Seven. before. Seven. Over, yeah. over the course of six seconds, <laughs> just fires four <laughs> crossbow bolts at this, like, lightning uh, quick reloading. <laughs> and, like, and, like, three of them you managed to block with your shield, but this is such lightning speed, like, Jesus, by the grace of Bahamut, and one manages to get past you. How does your disarming strike work? Uh, basically, it fires uh, off the. It basically hits the person in the um, uh, hand, and it causes them to drop their weapon. All right, roll damage. I just did. How much? Okay. So that will be. That will be fourteen points of damage. Fourteen, so three. Fourteen total. You yep. rolled a bunch of times. For that. Yeah, I get like two, just two rolls to be honest, because it's the disarming strike, which is D eight. And my like. I just want to make sure you're not multiplying. I'm not multiplying. I don't do that shit here. I'm not, okay. I'm not multiplying. It's a uh, two separate rolls. All right. Because it's disarming strike. Okay. Yeah. Also, you right. drop your sword. Okay. And I you can... drop your sword as Gregory's one bolt that gets past hits you in the hand, and your sword goes clattering across the deck. Okay. Um. So. Uh, can we the player's handbook? Yes. Thank you. Uh, I, I can. I can that. technically use this turn to grab my sword since it just fell. I need to. Uh, I'm, to me. Wait, well, I'm uh, looking to see if there's there's a distance, like an exact distance of how far your weapon goes. Let us see that. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Disarming strike. Da 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 da. da. Disarming strike. Disarming attack. Disarming attack. Oh no! It's, yeah. Disarming attack. It's pretty hard, guys. Yep. It yep, lands, it lands, lands your feet. feet. Yay, I can pick it up in my turn! Yep. Yep, I think so it's an action I can... to pick it up, though. It is an action to pick something up off the ground. It's fine. I think I ha I think I can use a bonus action. Um, I might need to check on that, though. Uh, I'll probably just use the field, field of sh Shield of Faith as usual. Oh, so. I don't- I, I don't- if you- I, I don't- <laughs> you know, I don't fight cheaters! You're cheating! You're cheating! I can't right, do so that! You use Shield well, of you faith. never said anything about me using magic! Alright, so Whipper- Picks up her sword, psh, casts a spell with the new symbol of Bahamut that she has. A little bit of magic goes around her, and Gregory, it's back to your turn. You're cheated! I can't do that! I cannot do that! I can't do that! <laughs> <laughs> Screw you! You didn't say anything about magic! No, no, Gregory. that is not fair! That is not fair! Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna fire. Next time, establish rules! Okay, new rule. No cheating magic users. Fine, I'll take off my, I'll take it off next time. Okay, I'm gonna fire twice again. That will be a oh twenty, exactly, not nat. Uh twenty will hit. Yeah. Wait, with she an AC face. That, of that's 18. she has twenty exactly. Twenty exactly, so that will hit. Yeah. God damn it. And the second attack that will not hit because I just had a two, but Oh my god. But another lucky what? another lucky point you Why do you hate me? This is why I got lucky, people. This is why I got lucky. What is lucky? Uh it's that a will feat be... he used. He basically has three luck points. Twenty one. Twenty one. He can use to Do you hate me? I swear no. He has it's, three luck points every day I know, that he can but use. You hate me. So three times a day he can re roll Seven a dice that ten, either he ten. is using to do something or hit someone. Six, six, or sixteen uh, or oh. that someone is trying to do to him. God damn it. Do you hate me, Andy? This is only a train. You don't have to go out. Uh by the way, I just dealt sixteen damage to her. Yeah, he, he to, hates me. He wants to win. How much HP you got left? Okay, so minus 19? 16. 16. 16 so. so Whipper is bloodied at that point. Yep. So yeah, two crossbow bolts get past Whipper's armor and embed in your armor and you're at the disadvantage and you realize he's gotten past your defenses. Yep, I'm bloodied. It's as over. As That's too sparring, quick. As far Jesus as the sparring match goes. That was like 12 seconds. Mm -hmm. Dude, that was too quick. Jesus Christ, I thought you wanted longer. Ah, I win! God damn it, Gregory! I thought you were too. I didn't know you were too bored. I win the pool. I take out my scythe and crossbow. I say I'm up next. And, oh. and like you have fun with your father. Hey, I'm gonna I go did, rest. Okay, well I'm at like. I I, I, I already say took a, heal I, him. Okay, I, I already took an L, so. Hey, no fucking <laughs> excuses. I'm gonna pop a heal on you. Okay. <laughs> no, I think I need to take an L. So needs to heal me in order to like. Motherfucker, I'm healing you right now. Okay, good. How much are you gonna heal me? I'm missing seven. 
This thing's seven? Yeah. Fuck, I'll use a second level. I know I'm bad rolling. <laughs> I want to see what happens. Holy shit. Yeah, you're full. Okay, cool. All right. Raridan heals Gregory up for the second round. You are a wrecking well, machine. I decide right. to I decide to leave to my quarters and just get myself healed. Get myself. All right, up. you want to spend some hit hit dice, healing yourself up. Um, okay. You have five hit dice you can expend for during a short rest. Um, five hit dice. What? Up to five. Uh, basically, you have things called hit dice during a short rest. You can choose to roll a oh. d roll up to five d10s and get hit points back. Oh. It's basically that plus your con, and you can roll as many as you want for a short rest. Uh, Six plus... So that's eight hit points back. Eight hit points back, so then that would be... You can use as many as you want. So if you can keep rolling if you want oh. to get more. You won't be able to use lucky okay. or battlemaster skills, right? You have up to five, because huh? you're level five. You won't be able to use lucky okay, or so battlemaster, right? Okay, so that was eight right? for the first no, one. Yep. You used them all, right? No, I got two left. Uh, Another ten. I got one more lucky, two more. So that's eighteen, 18. hit points. Oh. And I already used my action search, so I can't 28. use my action search. 28. 28 plus... I, I actually expected to. 31. Like, for the entire so, battle last I think you're back to full with that. Tanks. Yeah. So you have one hit dice left. Alright, that's good. Does okay. it restart every, every, after every long rest? You get... Uh, you oh, will get back. Right. a half of your half of your max hit dice back every short rest. Ah. Or every every long rest, I mean. Okay. I am generally surprised I beat her in that quickly. I actually thought this entire battle would go along like at yeah, least two I rounds longer. Thought, you kept on using extra move, extra stuff, so I'm just like, God damn it, Andy, we need to. They're just gonna keep coming at him until he's out of lucky. To be honest, Corvina has a better advantage than her because I'm actually like. I only got one lucky less than two battle actions. All yeah. right, so Corvina and Gregory are sparring now. Okay. Uh, roll initiative. Roll initiative. Okay, so my my hit points are forty one. So. That will be twenty. Twenty. Mhm. And I'm at full. It's time to play the game. That's a six. I got thirteen. All right, Gregory, you go first. Okay. Uh, you're fighting your daughter. What do you What do you have on you? I have. Um, many things. What do you you said you're holding your scythe? And she had the scythe? Cross. I thought that was her pack weapon, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, okay, I'll just... And my crossbow. We're 20 feet away. She's got her crossbow? Yeah. And her so, I'm just gonna fire off two. I wanna test her. This is our first battle. I wanna see how tough she is. That will be a 17 to hit. Uh, that hits. And a 23 to hit. That hits. That will be a 4 and 8 points of damage. <laughs> okay. Double ones. Double ones. <laughs> to be honest, better get double ones in damage than actually rolls. Okay. That's true um, though, yeah. So 8 points of damage. 8 points of damage. Eight, uh, that's 32. All right. And with that, Gregory, is there anything else you want to do? As Gregory shoots two crossbow bolts and they lodge into your armor. Uh, I can't do anything else. I mean, if you want me to... I can't even action search because I already used that for nope. her. So, I'm fine. Um, Actually, wait. I will walk 20 feet away. 20 feet backwards. I'm going to Eldritch Blast you. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Your, sister, your daughter, your daughter ain't giving any wait, mercy. It's twice? a cantrip. It's got two things now. Wait, how can you shoot me twice? Because she's level five. Oh yeah. <laughs> you fucked, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, in that case, you fucked. I wasn't gonna use it, but you <laughs> made this dirty. <laughs> you well, know, you have. Here's the thing. You have a crossbow. You know that, right? Yeah. She's aware. She's aware. I'm aware. She mentioned. She's aware. <laughs> this is why. You just <laughs> oh, don't make me well, destroy he, you all over again! Wait, didn't he establish a no magic rule? He did not actually establish. I just called you a cheater, hey, man, and that's you know what it. They say. Winning you is make a separate way. attack roll for each beam. Yep. Oh. Oh. How much is that? That's a 10. 10 plus 8, that's 18. I'll hit. 12 plus 8, that's a hit. 20. Yeah, I'll hit. Alright, so Corvina steps forward. And then, not even using the, her crossbow or anything, just sticks her hand out, uh, dropping her scythe for a moment, and her beam, this is new to you, splits off into two beams, 
that come together and hit you in the chest. Oh, you killed me! Oh, uh, feel free! Roll, roll your damage. Uh, that's 15... Points of damage? Plus... Plus tens. six. So, um, that's... 21? That's 21 points of damage. Oh, crap. Hum no, hum no, hum no, hum no. So, how much... So, I'm at... <laughs> 31. Eight more in your fucks, dude. I'm just saying. I'm at 31 right now. Okay. No. Wait. How much you did again? Sorry. Uh, 21. 21? I got 27. Getting eight more of your fuck. Yeah, eight more. Pervina, is there anything Howard, else you want to do? How much damage did I do to her? I um, eight. So eight. I, mean, I need to get 12, then I win. Boy, no, don't be fucking I'm lucky. good. Alright. Gregory, you be, it's your turn again. Your daughter just fucking punched like you a said, lot you harder be, with magic than you thought. I'll be fucking lucky, dude. Okay. okay. If, well, you know that case, if that is the fucking case! <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Hey, hey, come down, dude. I'm going to fire with her two times, both of them, with my cross, uh, cro uh, cro How many cross Battle Master things can you do in a day? Four. Four per long rest. Uh, you used I get one on Whipper so far. I used two on Whipper. You used two on Whipper. I get four a day because I have four superior dice. I expend one right. to use one. I'm just checking. I also get a, I also get a fifth one when I reach level six, so that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. Or not level six, level seven. I thought they upgrade the dice. They upgrade the dice. They, they, the at level the six, dice get upgraded, but he does also get more. I get oh. more at like level seven and level fifteen. That will be twenty-three to hit. That'll hit. What is this? Huh? What, what does Crossbow bar. Uh, so this is the... What attack? Pushing. Okay, you don't you, don't you don't add it to the attack roll. Oh, yeah. Okay. You add it to the damage. Okay, well then that will be just 17, both 17s. Well, they both hit. Okay, cool. So that will just deal damage to you then? That will be 3 plus 3 plus my first attack. Well, to be honest... Okay, so that was the first attack. That was 8 plus 6. That's 14. Okay. Now the second attack... That'll be four plus five. That's nine, so eighteen or uh, fourteen plus nine. That yeah. will be twenty-three. Yeah. All right. So two cross. So so two crowbars come flying at you and hit you in the gut. <laughs> and that's about as much as you're willing to take today. All right. <laughs> I take out my crossbow and I shoot him one last time. <laughs> Oh, this is... Roll. Wait, how much this HP the you Phillips got left? Way. How much HP you got left? Um, wait, how much was that again? Uh, that was... 23? 23. How much HP you got left? Hold on. Let me do math. Um... Oh, and, uh... You know what? You had 32. Yeah. 23, that would be 19. No. No, she would have just 9. nine. You would have 9 left. Nine. Damn. Make an attack roll. Sixteen plus five. Um, yeah, sixteen hit. plus five. Twenty-one. That'll 21. hit. Twenty-one. I'll hit. I okay. only have sixteen. Roll d8. Damage. Oh, that's a d10. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. That's five damage. Okay. okay. You just when you think she's done, she she lifts her crossbow and shoots you, and it hit goes punctures right into your armor. Oh, that's how it's gonna be. Eh? <laughs> Okay, you know what? Since this is gonna happen, I'm gonna continue fighting. No, okay. what the fuck, dude? <laughs> I'm going to fire two more times! Someone's gonna get in-capped, dude. <laughs> I'm just saying, like... Okay, that's going to be... One. Is that 13? Uh, that does not hit. That will be... 16. That will hit. That will be... Not, uh, 8. Okay. You have 1 HP left. I do. All right, so that last and goes I am going to use my second wind ability. <laughs> He's looking which is what second what second wind do? That's D it lets six. You, no, it was like D10. It lets you do a D10, I believe. D10 plus level. Plus your level, I think, also plus your constitution. Okay. I'm, I could be wrong about that. It might just be your level. I, I think, think it's just level. my level. So I get 14 HP back. Okay. So 46. Does it, uh, tell me if it does con or not. I don't think so. Nope. Just level. Okay. Um... Corvina, do you still want to fight? 
Um. Come on, on girl, well. you're almost dead. I'm pretty sure of it. You got like your intestines hanging out. How much damage does she have? Uh, she has one HP <laughs> left. Do you, do, are, are you gonna in cap your daughter? I mean, I don't know if that's cool, man. Is she? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna give her the. Oh my god! I'm just gonna give her the the, the benefit of the doubt. If she quits right now, I will let her go. But if she attacks me, she wants to continue this bullshit. <laughs> I don't know, man. This was supposed to be a friendly with, sparring match. With my bonus action, I cast Sanctuary on myself. <laughs> what does that what? do? Magic. All right, good to know. It, it wards a creature. Uh, it's all right, I know what it does. Okay. I don't know what it does. That's okay, you don't need to know okay. what it does. You're Gregory. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That is a fair, fair point. High five. Okay. Um, so, um, yeah, I do that, and then I... Can I still Eldritch Blast him twice? It's an action, so technically yes. Alright, I Eldritch Blast him twice. Okay. Be nice to me. Three. Three plus eight, that's no. not gonna hit. Okay. Second one. Twelve plus eight, that's... Twenty. 20. No, 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 no. So that you know what, it. just... You know what? Uh, no, no, never mind, go, go, let's go. I was gonna use Lucky, but then I realized, you know what, that's like one hit. I got 46 HP. Roll some damage. I'm pretty sure she's not gonna in cap me unless she gets exactly 46. That's what? 10. Okay. Okay, good. I thought I was gonna take 46 points of damage. Okay, so what does Sanctuary do? Uh, you don't know. Okay. You're Gregory. Uh, no, like, I then, like, physically, what do I see happen? Uh, you see her do some magic shit on herself. Come from her bracelet. Uh huh. And coat her, and you're not. And she seems almost a bit blurry now. I don't know what that does. I'm scared. You're looking at her, and like you're, you. It's almost like you can't look at her straight. Okay, well, is Wilbur here? Wilbur is on the boat. Yeah. Okay, well, you know what? If you're going to play dirty, I might as well play dirty. I'm <laughs> going to snap my fingers and says, Wilbur, attack, boy. No, that's unfair. <laughs> she won't attack Wilbur, dude. That's fucked up. Who says? Oh, oh shit! What? Oh. Oh. Wait, what she said? Who says? <laughs> dude, she's gonna fuck up Wilbur. Oh, here's dude. your broom. Oh and yeah. Wilbur is going to attack. All right, make an attack roll. That is a four. All right, Wilbur goes up, and instead of attacking her, he starts starts licking her feet and jumping on her. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, cool, cool. Um. That was a bonus action, right? Yes. Okay. And in that case, I'll just fire at her twice. Because, you know what? She has, She's like nearly dead. Might as well. That will be a... Make a wisdom saving throw. Me? Yes. Okay. That will be 15. What's your DC? Um, it is... 15. Isn't it... Wait, um... Did you add your, it's your proficiency, proficiency bonus? Did you add... Oh, did you oh, it? did I change it? Um... That was so 16, right? It's 8 plus proficiency bonus plus your spellcasting modifier. So 16. Because it's plus 1. 8 plus... Did you change it when you logged? Wait, how much That's charisma? Um, like, she has 5. Like, literally 5 charisma. Plus 5? Yeah. Five. Oh, yeah, then it'd be 16. Yeah, It would 16. be 16. 16. So and your 16. And your attack modifier should be 8 now. A plus 8. Oh yeah, okay. So, so I didn't change that. You try to All attack right. her yeah. and you just can't. <laughs> okay, well I just rolled again to attack. And uh, I it, you you rolled it. You doing another attack? Yeah, I'm multi. You need, make, you need to make another wisdom table. Okay. Turn. That will be another fifteen. But I will use lucky. Nope. Well, you, I don't hit her. So you try to. You could you could choose a different target if you really wanted to, but that's not necessary since the only person you're fighting is Corvina. Corvina. So you try to shoot her with your crossbow, and you're like, ah, yeah. some some magic bullshit when you're trying to hit her. Just she is really blurry, and you can't fucking ah, hit her. You know what? It's almost like the sun's in your eyes, but it's not that, and it's really bothering you. You know what? I'm going to I'm going. You know what? Screw this. I'm going to draw my crossbow. I quit. You win. <laughs> oh. I am I am I like how am I? Am I on the floor? You're, you're on one hit point. I you're win. in pretty I'm, bad shape. Okay, you're not on the floor. I'm just yeah. like Aqua. <laughs> 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 I'm a Phillips. <laughs> <laughs> you're not the Phillips. 
Do you use magic to fight that ink, Phillips? You use crossbows to fight. Yeah, I use crossbows. What are you crossbows. talking about? I use crossbows. You use that fucking magic. I used a crossbow too. Okay, well, who here's nearly dead? Who quit? <laughs> <laughs> who brought you to? Who brought you to near death without using magic? I said near death. I'm, I'm not going to kill you either way! Unless you really want me to. Do you want, you want me to kill you right now? I'll bring out the fucking war sheet. <laughs> <laughs> I got fucking four gold! I'm pretty sure fucking crew boy there can shoot you from up there. Uh, he pops his head up, <laughs> as I mentioned. <laughs> 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 also, I'm pretty sure Bruce owes me one. No, you paid me. I'm... I'm I mean, wait, why do I owe you one? Cause I fucking helped you kill a goddamn vampire! Creature thing! That was more your problem, really. I also housed ye! When did you house me? Like, at the end of the adventure! Did we? <laughs> yeah. did we do that? Yeah, 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 you spent like a week at his house. We, why did I spend a week at your house? <laughs> to recuperate. Alright. Fair enough. I'm willing to use all of my favorites with that weird shark! It's like, I'm not gonna kill passengers. I'm not killing your daughter, Gregory. <laughs> I don't need you to kill her, I just need you to knock her out and maybe give her a bit of brain damage to make her more like me. Ha! You have brain damage! <laughs> yeah! And I got I two parents! I just walk away. <laughs> I just walk away. Yeah, smiling. I got brain damage. You're happy that you've made your poor path if I'm remind your poor part of that? Feel bad about yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just smiling as I walk away. Alright, does anyone else want to do how anything? Do, how long does Sanctuary last? Out of curiosity. You don't know. Okay. <laughs> I'm in my room just resting. I yeah, eventually really Corvina comes back and she's beat to shit. Like, what the fuck happened? Victory. <laughs> I won. I, I say, I want Phillips. And I collapse on my bed. <laughs> oh, dear lord. So I um, help her back into her bed and start. Um, I give her all 20. Five. Oh, yeah. You have 25 now. Yeah. Hands. Keep on forgetting. I give her all 25 of lay on hands. So she now has 20. You got 26 of them. <laughs> <laughs> Pluck out like, the crossbow bolts out of her armor going for her. Against a man like him. Now I just have to wait for another long, <laughs> for a long rest to restore my lay on hands. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go back to my room and fall asleep. Cause I am tired from fighting two battles in a turn and using all of my stuff. As you're going inside, Bruce is like, "Oh, what? Not gonna give me a chance? What? You don't wanna? F you wanna fight me? Yeah, let's fight in eight hours." <laughs> <laughs> All right, get some sleep, old man. What are you calling? Okay, you know what? I I shouldn't judge. I am actually pretty old. How yep. old are you? Is Gregory? Like late forties, early fifties. Okay. All right, so you guys. Uh, a very relaxing sparring day, as it were. I will uh, <laughs> fucking fight. That was he amazing. Just cheated. He just cheated <laughs> so much. <laughs> you couldn't fight like a fucking, like, honorable person. I was on one hit point! <laughs> what was I supposed to do? to do? Die. <laughs> oh! Like an honorable person. Or heal yourself with like. I don't have healing. Eat something. Skyrim does it. Fallout does it. <laughs> Literally every other game has something you eat to heal yourself. I don't uh, think I, I don't have think we have potions. anything like that. I don't have healing potions. I think I have. I have potions one of water breathing. Yeah. All right. So day three passes uneventfully. Uh, yep. You guys are out at sea. You go to sleep. You wake up. You get all your shit back. Okay. Whipper, you've only, you're only missing one hit dice, but that's fine, that'll come back the next day. Yeah. Alright, and uh... Cheater. You're yeah. a great fighter, Phillips! Yeah, whatever. And uh, it is it is pretty cloudy, it's stormy today. We're it was, all gonna die. It was cloudy die. yesterday. Hmm. Uh, today it's straight up stormy. We're all gonna die today, I feel it. Like. Like. This is the cheap gods stampeding 
At the sight of a Phelps cheating with filth and magic. I keep forgetting to use that. Damn it. Okay, sorry. Wait, what? Nope, that's that's my. So you say. Oh yeah, her turn crossbows into Ash ability. Yeah, I forgot yeah. about that. Wait, what? What? No, no. No, no. Yeah, she's got a spell that turn just turns crossbows into fucking dust. <laughs> It's a really specific ability. I don't know why they put it in the game. <laughs> Only works on crossbows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. I thought I was gonna say. I thought it said I'm gonna only work on people whose names start with G. Yeah. A lot of weird. I think it's because. Um, I think it's because crossbows are long range and they work better or something. That, that's not an ability, though. That's the thing. Oh. That, that's who's joking about it. All right. So, does anyone want to do anything day four? Mm, well, it's got... storming, right? It's storming, right? It's stormy. I'm, I'm gonna stay. In... <gasps> I'm gonna go for a swim. Oh my god! Yeah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna stay inside, just riding in, like just laying down, contemplating on life. All right. I'm gonna go to Whipper. I'm gonna ask her about some stuff. What? Okay, so I've been thinking for like for a while now. What is your beef with this guy who killed your dad? He killed my father. Okay, yeah, I heard it all. <laughs> okay, so what does he look like? I take up the picture of Agnor. Oh, cool. She unfurls this picture of the most evil looking <laughs> dragonborn you've ever yeah, seen. God, he is He's like... got long, gangly teeth and a big nose. <laughs> oh, dear God, that big is. Snow. That he's an ugly bastard. Evil Whatever. Eyes. How is he still alive? What is this purpose? Why did they murder him? So. Did they, did they, like. Known throughout the entire world or something? Is he like, like well-known killer of people, of fathers? From what I've been told, people have seen him, and they say he's pretty dumb, but they say he's also very powerful, almost to a god level. Oh man. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm gonna help you. Why? Uh, because I heard that you. Because I remember. Just I just remembered now that you are a noble, and I think the sheep. But a sheep farm could use some advertisement. Oh, am I in this room? Probably. I mean, like you, me, you, me, and uh, just... Andrea are in the same room. Yeah. Okay. I'm. I'm just like. I'm pretty sure my sheep farm needs some advertisement. <laughs> you get what I'm doing there? Oh. I have a sheep farm. Do I have connections? <laughs> I mean, like, you have a you connection do. as a crossbow maker. Uh, you have some connections. You have some people who buy your sheep and some people who... Thank you. Uh, buy the wool and some people who... I am missing a box. I'll look for it later. It's under your chair. Thank you. I'll pick it up later. You got some people who buy the meat, some people who buy the wool, some people who buy whole sheep. Okay. Well, a few connections. And you got your crossbow advertisements. After, your, your your brand deals. Yeah, well that's uh you know, that's a long time ago. Yeah. No one needs any more crossbows. Now everyone just needs sheep. Okay. Uh anyway, so I'm going to use my connections to figure out what I know is. We're gonna find him, you're gonna kill him, and then you're going to owe me a favor, and I'm gonna use that favor in order to get you to advertise my sheep farm across the world. And I will be a god of media. <laughs> I look at Corvina for a sec, just like, uh... I'm just like, let it happen. Uh, okay? Yeah! Okay, now I just need to figure out what connections got. I uh, know, I got the connections. Bruce! <laughs> I need to ask what? you to... You know where we can find a dragon more named Agnor? <laughs> oh. I feel like we talked about this already. Really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. For sure I told you I didn't know anything. Okay. 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 Well, there goes his one connection. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, what other connections do I got? Does he have any kids at Blackton? Your sheep farming connections are pretty much all in Blackton, or the nearby towns. And they are all just basically <laughs> humble merchants. Okay. And there's your kids. Okay, and well, yeah. You haven't talked to a shit of them. Corvina is just like, I know Agnor. I look at her. How? I'm just like... <laughs> I'm not there, though. You're up at... You're uh, yeah, where he's Bruce up, he's, is. Oh. I'm up deck with Bruce. Damn it. Damn it. 
Okay. Can't do a deception check when there's when the person you're deceiving ain't in the room. No, it's an automatic success because they don't know about it. Yeah. What do we do now? I mean, like, it's not very eventful being like. Who no wants to fight the red? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rodan, do you do anything? Nope. What about with that dumb doll? I guess I have another conversation with myself. All right, no you, more. You it's too you creepy. I don't know where it is. The oh. doll is. Okay. It disappeared again. It does that. Well, I'm gonna go check on Lockbreak. You know, that's the first thing I should check on. All right, he's up in the crow's nest again with a like with he's got like a tarp. He's got over him. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm gonna go check him out. Uh, check him on the. Do you climb nest. up there? Yeah, I will. All right. So In the heavy wind roll, and rain. No, you can just climb up. There you got. They got a thing for it. Oh, lovely. They're not dumb. Lock break. What? Where's my doll? Where's Julia? Dude, I don't know. I don't want anything to do with that doll. Lock break. Listen to me. Listen to me. That doll. That doll doesn't want to kill you. I'm lying. Yeah. Okay. That doll. Does. No, it really wants to kill you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it really does want to kill you. But I'm, I'm really concerned. You know. <laughs> I had to put out cow traps around my bed last night. <laughs> oh. Stop. <laughs> I stepped on a bunch of cow traps when I woke up. <laughs> yes. You know what, low break. You have a good day. You know, I'll, I'll go look for Julia. You know, what's I think? But this is very Not fitting, her name isn't is it? Julie. Ju Julie. Yeah, I keep forgetting. My bad. Or is this your other personality speaking? Oh, my other personality mixes it up sometimes. Your third personality. Good day, Lockbreak. Stay friendshipy. And I'm gonna slide down. You could have just said stay Maybe dry. We're in a storm. <laughs> All right, as you're going down, Lockbreak goes, "Hey, do you see that?" And I'm sorry, uh, what? The storm is clearing up a bit, and it's getting into clear skies. Uh, any points down towards the ocean? Uh, uh, I'm gonna make a perception, make a perception check. check. Who hears this? Uh, just him because okay. he's up in, there, up in the crow's nest. Okay, makes sense. Fifteen. You see what appears to be a shape of some humanoid thing. Oh boy. But the bottom appears to be a tail. Oh boy. Not legs. Wow, it looks like a mermaid. That would that would that would be a, the, an assumption one could make. Yeah, it does appear to be a mermaid. You know. Look, Break. I've never met a mermaid. No. No? Well, this is the first time for everything, right? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go hail that person. And then we'll go climb down. I'm gonna go, uh, you know, on the edge of the, uh, of the ship. Alright. I'm gonna try to look for this person. So, do I roll another check, or do I uh, No, you get down there and you see her, and it does appear to be a mermaid. She's got kind of fins, uh, on her head instead of proper hair. Right. But it, it is a beautiful woman. Uh, female. Hello? Swimming alongside the ship. Hi. <laughs> Hello? I oh! Just, I decided to go up, de up deck. Um, okay. Because after, since the storm's kind of letting up now. Um, I see Ryodan leaning against the edge. I'm like, Ryodan, what are you, Elf, what are you doing? I'm bored! I'm talking to the ocean. What's her name? I'm Lysha. The ocean's name is Lysha! I, well, well, what do you do? What do you work as? I um I I look at um I look at Rydan thinking how crazy it thinking about how messed up his mind is right now. So I decide to look over. I, I decide to look over and I see the mermaid. You see nothing. No, I'm joking. Yeah, you see the mermaid. <laughs> um. So. What are your names? Well, I'm Rydan of. Volgolf. Summers. Rydan Volgolf of Summers Light. And you. Lysha of where? I'm from the sea. <laughs> the sea. I love the sea. You know? You know, I know a, I know a man who died in the sea once. I'd like oh, to meet wonderful. him one day. If you, you know, if you're Don't ever so... Don't all things die in the sea, though? Oh, no. No, no. You know, I've seen a lot of killing. I've done a lot of killing myself, too. You know, you should uh, try a lot of killing. So, I decided to, like, back away and, like, go find Bruce. Like, um, Bruce! Yeah. I'm not sure He's what's going. He's currently stealing, steering the ship. I'm not He's sure what's stealing going. The ship. Stealing the ship. <laughs> We're going to Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what's going on, but I think um, Rydan's talking to a mermaid. He gives you a look of of 
relative like disbelief. He's like, I'm not joking. questioning confusedness. Like, sure, it's a mermaid. I am not sure, but I see it's not it green. Not green, as far as I've seen. It's, is it green? It, it is blue. -ish. She she's more bluish than green. All right. You didn't have legs. Mm, she did not have legs. No legs. No legs. After a little while, I'll follow Whipper. I'll get bored and follow with her. Dude, is Sahag one happen? I'm gonna have to walk on speed. So so okay, uh. <laughs> he kinda, he goes to the side of the ship, peers over, he's like, alright, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know, they don't have legs, kill him. I used to be a noble! I got exiled, though. Oh, how awful! I'm yes! So Were you a. <laughs> <laughs> Were you a noble? You wanna meet my friends? I would love to meet your friends. All right, hey, get over here, guys! Hey, I'm well, what's going on? Is there something that can kill me, boredom? Yeah. What is it? Her name's Lysha. Who's Lysha? The, the, the ocean. There's someone person. I know. Is it another one of the many exploits of Gregory Clubs <laughs> that I somehow don't know about? <laughs> you want to meet my friends other than Gregory? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna look over there like I am Gregory. <laughs> 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 you pushed the straw into my mouth. <laughs> wow, you both have fuzzy faces. Yeah. That's okay, this one's fake. The hell Elves can't grow hair. <laughs> <laughs> that's canon, that's canon. That's canon. <laughs> I pull off the mustache. <laughs> <laughs> Where is it now? It's half a mustache. Dun dun dun! dun. Dramatic reveal! I never had a mustache! <laughs> That's cool. Uh, That's amazing! I, I walk think Vivian's over. dead. Meg, I think Vivian's dead. I walk over and, um... I, I see Rodan's half a mustache. <laughs> I just give it this most, the most quizzical look ever. Like, I can't even. How? I don't want to know. Okay. And then, and then I see people looking over the side of the boat, and I and I look over the side of the boat. It's a mermaid. You see a mermaid. Okay. She looks roughly like this. Okay. Oh, it's Naga Siren from Dota 2. Mm-hmm. How fast is the ship moving? Uh, you're not entirely sure. It's hard to gauge since there's not really any point of reference, like land. You should be going pretty fast. Not too fast. So she's swimming along the side. Yeah. She's swimming along the side casually. You guys aren't making, like, full of speed. It's a casual boating pace. No rush. I don't know what's going on right now. I'm gonna be like, anybody got rope? I got, I got rope. rope. I got rope. I don't have rope. Somebody tie a rope around me. Okay. I'm I'll see why not. Yeah, this is gonna back at all. I'm gonna tie a rope around her. All right, you tie a rope around Corvina. Uh huh. Okay, I'm gonna take off, um, like armor and stuff. You don't have armor, do you? Yeah. She wears leather. I, oh yeah, the I, stud I leather. Stud leather. Stud leather. 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 So, Alright, it takes you roughly five minutes to doff it. It's like... Yeah. So it's like, what are their names? Well, that one's Whipper. And uh, that one's Covina. I am Gregory. And our captain is... No, she doesn't want to know you. Our captain is... Uh, what was his name? Simbara. Simbara. And there's a shuckman. And his name's Bruce. A shuckman? Yes. And she looks really scared at the... Oh, it's the, okay. He's a pacifist. No, he ain't. I, I tie the end, the other end of the rope to the boat somehow. Okay, good. Because uh, I was going to call you on that shit. Otherwise, he was just going to go... <laughs> <laughs> and I... I take a potion of water breathing. Okay. And I jump in. Cool. Psh. 
it's, it's weird at first. It's a weird sensation because everything in your body, everything you're trained, is that you breathe, you hold your breath. Yeah. But you let it in, and the salt water comes and fills your lungs. And there's a moment where it's it's like a coldness in your lungs, and it feels yeah. all right, and you are now breathing water. Okay. You have I, one less potion of water breathing. Yeah. Okay. I, I pop my head up, and I'm like, the potions of water breathing work. Oh, that's good. This is um, time to kill her. <laughs> I'm, um, just <laughs> I'm just kidding. And I'm, I'm swimming alongside, too, so I don't, like, get dragged. Um, okay, you're not moving near, uh, you're, you're I'm, barely keeping up. I, I, I just, I just don't want to be, like, dragged, dragged. I mean, I can be dragged a little. But I, I, I am moving myself a little, so I'm not like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, that you mean right there, that just that entire sound that she just made. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, you actually start lagging behind, but Lysha grabs you by the arm, saying, Here, let me help you, and she starts pulling you a little bit faster. Okay. Thank you. I'm Corvina, by the way. I'm Lysha. You can breathe water, too. Uh, with the potion. Oh. What's that? It's a... I don't know like if they a comprehend drink? liquids. What's a drink? <laughs> Do you know what a drink is? No. Okay, it's it's something that you swallow that isn't food. It's more of a liquid, like water, but it's not water. <laughs> it's... it's it's got the viscosity of water. Yeah, what the fuck Sometimes <laughs> it's it's oh jeez. <laughs> um, Trying to explain drinking <laughs> to a mermaid the ocean. Um, um, it's very complicated now that I think about it. Um, it sounds complicated. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Stick with water. Stick with water. <laughs> <laughs> Stick with water. Surprising how they're not I just, um, I just, I go, I go, um, I, 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 as I'm swimming, I, I look under and I, I look at all the things down below. Yeah. Uh, make a perception check. Do I see prettiness? You do see you see fish moving around. It's a lot of open ocean. Do 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 it's nice down here. It's cold as fuck, but it's nice. Yeah, that's why I took my armor off so that when I get back out, I won't be cold. You know, leather doesn't actually warm you up, right? Well, it'll be like it'll be dry. Dry. So. Not anymore. You Gregory takes the leather and throws it overboard. Do you really? Oh no, just kidding. You I'm see like Jim in the gauze bot moving along the ocean floor. <laughs> Wait, do I really? No, that'd be amazing. Oh, though. I was like, I was like, do I really? Cause that's like twenty old, years. Old Jim's getting up in years. He ain't lasting that long. Yeah. No, I'm see. fucking with you. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, you see a, a dead green dragonborn with cinder blocks for shoes hanging above <laughs> his battle axe and shield, and attached to a sign that says "Agnor the Man of a Million Kills." Rest in peace, Agnor. I know, right? Rip. Rip. Wouldn't that be a bitch if Whipper came all the way to kill Agnor just to find out he already died? Oh my god. That would suck for me. She gets the same way, he's like, yeah, he finally challenged us, we beat the shit out of him. <laughs> uh, as you're actually swimming, you do actually see what appears to be a sunken, a sunken statue somewhere below. You can't really make it out. Um... It's very far down. And it appears to be covered in barnacles and stuff. Does it look like... 
I can't really make it out, so... Not um, from this distance, no. <clears throat> can I shout out to the to the people up top to stop the boat? Uh, if you go back above water, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'll do that, yeah. Alright, you go above water, and it's like... And Bruce says, why? <laughs> <laughs> I think I see something. And he goes and he stomps. <laughs> Knock it off, boys! And the oars stop going. And uh, and from inside you hear, and the chain starts unrattling, and you see the anchor drop. All right. I untie myself. All right, you untie yourself. And I swim down. Anyone to... else gonna go with her? Oh, no, what's that water potion? Ball breathing potion. I left them all up there. Well. I left all my other stuff up Greg there. Greg Phillips does not swim. Unless it is necessary to save a sheep. No. Not again. Not again. Not. <clears throat> I'm not losing another one. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so no one goes with her? Uh, no. No, unfortunately. You would have taken your armor off since yesterday. Oh, okay Probably. then. If you wanted to. Alright, I'll go I'll go for it. I'm not It's go your call. Alright, I'm going for Bruce it. Bruce is Bruce is actually like taking off his shirt and stuff. He's like, alright, might as well. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Alright, um who has a potion? Uh the Corvina left the potion on the deck. Alright, I'll take one of those. How many are there? How many there, did you buy? There were four. I took one. Two more. So that's two more. I I ju I jumped down. Alley oop. All right, Whipper goes in, looking at all the world like an Argonian, uh, swimming underwater, breathing, and you get that weird sensation of your lungs getting cold and like wanting to not breathe water. Uh, but you suck it in, and eventually, you find you're able to breathe the salt water. Hmm. Awesome. We gotta tell this to Hilo. We gotta send a message to Hilo later. You know that, right? Yeah. Totally. And Bruce jumps in Hilo in again? shark form. He was the assistant. Halflings. Oh, um, yeah. I talk to the mermaid. Uh, what's her name? Lysha. Lysha. I say, Lysha, can you join us on a little excursion to statue thing? Oh, I would like that. <clears> hey. <throat> okay. And I dive down deeper. Can we talk while we're underwater? You can certainly you try. Are okay, I'm going to talk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just said something inconsequential. I just said, like, my mother was awesome. Bubbles. Okay. Just wondering. Just wondering. Okay. Imagine all those bubbles going up with the spe with the, with whatever speech you decide to say and just, like, pop open at the, at the, at the top and be like, my mom was awesome. And whoever's up on deck's like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Um... Yeah. What in blue blazes? Whose mother was awesome? Yeah. Oh, well, definitely not yours. The only awesome mother has been my mother. <laughs> um, yeah, no, okay. So, I swim over to it. Alright, you swim it, and you swim over to this statue. It's very uh, far below, far down. Yeah. Uh, and it appears to be a statue of a woman holding some kind of weapon. It's just been so encrusted with barnacles and just stuff. Uh, it might have been a mace at one point. Honestly, it, it looks like she's holding a fucking rock. It's been filled in with so much shit. Uh, this statue of a woman, her other arm appears to have been broken off. Uh, and now looking around, there does appear to be like ruins, like sunken ruins around here. Uh, but yeah, so you come to this statue, and there is, it is just, there There are crabs moving along, along around it, uh, I, there are fish going around. I go and I look for an entrance into the ruins. Uh, currently, uh, yeah, so you start swimming around, Whipper, you're following, mm -hmm. uh, Bruce and Lysha also there, and you, th there's not necessarily an entrance there's an archway yeah uh, that you see some 20 feet back like you're in what was once maybe like a city yeah uh, there are do appear to be some buildings some of them just don't have roofs anymore some 
they're just like remnants of walls. Huh. Uh, some of them do appear to still be complete buildings. Do I have any idea what this place might have been? You have no clue. Okay. Um, can I go in one of the buildings? Uh, yes, you can. Okay, I do that. You go in and you see... Uh, Dead people everywhere. A lot of driftwood floating toward... Not even floating at this point, just stuck in the bottom. Uh, sand, there's crabs. There appears to be an eel that made its home in, like, the corner. Yeah. Are you are you looking for stuff? I'm just exploring, kind of right. trying to figure out what this was. Yeah, so you're looking around. You want to check out any more buildings or anything? Yeah, All I'll right. keep checking out buildings Ripper, until I anything? find something. Ripper, you doing anything? You're underwater, too. I'm following her. All right. And, uh... You end up, uh, the, the second building you go into, you actually end up coming across uh, a skeleton wrapped in a cloak. Okay. I will undo the cloak. And he is missing some of his limbs, so it's not hard. Okay. I will wrap the cloak around one of my arms. Alright. You wrap the cloak around yourself. It, it feels like, almost like, it, 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 is, it has a weird texture to it. Uh, it feels almost, it, it feels very smooth, like it's not a conventional cloak. Like it was made out of some kind of uh, sea creature skin. Can I investigate the skeleton, see if it's like different than other skeletons I've seen? Make an investigation check. That's an 11. Uh, it appears to have a... Uh, it, it looks very much like most skeletons you've seen. It appears to be a human skeleton. Uh, hmm. It Most of its clothes have just completely fucking gone, except for yeah. this cloak. Uh, there does appear to be, like, the remnants of a belt, and you can see, like, a little holster thing that has a little bottle uh, on the in the sand near it. Does the bottle have anything in it? Uh, it does appear to have some red liquid in it. I will take the bottle. Alright. You do so. Okay. Actually, it's orange liquid. Okay. And it's weird, it's like flickering faintly. Try it again, try it again. What if it's a potion of fire? It sets people on fire. It's a potion of fire. You drink it underwater? and it just fucking lights you up. <laughs> but you're in underwater. The moment you drink, you feel a slight burn for like two seconds. Then you yes, suddenly... Like tangling sensation in my mouth. Suddenly. The moment you step out, you suddenly get a blade of fire. You burn out All right, the you checking blade. out more places? Yeah. All right. Uh, in the third... Uh, in, the, in the third building, there's not really anything... Uh, this place is completely open, like the roof is just gone. In the fourth place you check out, you do actually find a chest. Open the chest. I will open the chest it if it <laughs> is not locked. Okay, it's locked. All right. I will summon my scythe, and I will hack at the chest. <laughs> All right. It's very hard because you're moving a lot slower because you're underwater. Yeah. So you can make attack roll at disadvantage. Alright. Well, that's gonna be a one. Because no. I rolled a one. Can I, um... It's not happening. Can I try to see if I can break the lock on it? Since it kind of looks like it's rusted. or It might be rusted or something. It's a little bit rusty. Can I try... Attack roll at disadvantage. Um, what kind of check is this? This is an attack roll. Oh, so... 15... How long has it been since they initially jumped in? Ten. It's been maybe 15 minutes. Plus your... I am so bored! Twelve. Twelve. I know! Nothing. Fuck it! 
I'm Gregory. He's just tired of being bored on time. He's been screaming at everything. He's really, really aggravated at this point. Like, he, he if he if he's just any longer with Ryder, and either him or Lockbreak's gonna get taken out. So he's just gonna drink the potion, take off his armor, and just jump in half naked. Within the time that they jumped in and him start jumping in, have I found Julia? Uh, make an investigation check. All it's right. Julie. Uh, Julie, Julie, my bad. Uh, 19. Yeah, you actually find... You're looking around, so you start thinking, like, okay, she's not in the places I've looked, so I know I got, now I gotta get outside the box. Mm. And you start looking around, and you end up fighting, finding her in Gregory's personal effects, just by his bed and stuff. Like, and now she appears to be clutching a crossbow. <laughs> oh, that's and my Julie! And she has Julie. your dagger again. That's again. my Julie! She's Julie! Julie! Alright, I'm gonna put, put her back in my room. Alright. Or uh, You also, with that investigation check, find that you don't know where your potion of poison has gone. Oh, no. Wait a minute, no, I give it to Lockbreak, though. You did? Yeah. Oh, never mind. He just forgot I gave oh, it to Lockbreak. No. <laughs> now Lockbreak doesn't know where it is. <laughs> uh, so I'm just gonna jump in. Do you want, do I know where they where they where they went? Uh, you do see the statue, and you you imagine they probably went that way. Okay, well I'm gonna head towards the statue. Oh, I want to follow him. I'll I'll drink as well. You know, after you know, taking off all your clothes. Yeah, I'll strip. Sure, I'm down. All right, after a few minutes, Rayo Dan comes in, and you guys start. You guys are swimming towards this statue, and then you eventually start seeing the ruins, mm -hmm. and you get scared for a second because a great white shark is heading right fucking towards you, and you realize, like, oh, it's probably Bruce. <laughs> oh, look, Bruce, and Bruce is just... <laughs> And then Bruce comes up behind you. <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, Bruce! And Bruce actually comes up, and he comes up right towards, right next to you guys. Uh, I see. So that he's in between you two. I see. I see what this has going on. That, is that natural? Right, right there. I see. Okay, cool. I see what's going on here. I see. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Underwater he shakes his head and he just, like, he reverts into were shark form and grabs you both by the arms and starts swimming, pulling you guys faster. <laughs> okay. <laughs> With his actual swim speed. Okay. <laughs> So wait, was that a real Great White Shark, or was that Bruce? That was Bruce. Okay. Uh -oh. Okay, I thought there was two Great Whites. No, that was me joking. <laughs> okay. Oh. Da -da 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 and he pulls you to where Corvina and Whipper are, and uh, they have a chest. Okay. That they're trying to get in and just can't. Hey, what's going on? I want to try cannot speak. I want to try say that again. And... I know. I know, that, that's all I was going for. Hey, what's going on? I want to try again. Disadvantage. This time, can I Eldritch Blast it? Sure, make an attack roll with disadvantage. So we ain't got no harpoon guns. That's a 12. That'll hit. Roll a d10. <laughs> That's an eight. All right, it is still on there. I'm gonna do it again. Make another attack roll with disadvantage. Actually, no, your spell would be okay. No disadvantage. If you back up and do it. Uh. What's the range of Elder Splash? Blast? For her, fucking long as shit. Three hundred. Yeah. Did they have a minimum range? Uh. I think as long as she's not within five feet, she's good. Got it. Uh, that's 17. That'll hit. Roll me another d10. Actually, uh, that's seven. You have two beams, so these would be at the same time, huh? Yeah. Alright, so yeah. Both beams... And just shatter the lock on this thing. And the top actually comes off a little bit. Okay. So you look inside, and you find a scattering of gold and silver pieces. 
Okay. What do you mean by scattering? Like they're all floating up? Because I'm uh, pretty sure no, gold... they're not. They're not floating. They're just scattered in there. Oh, it's okay. just a mess. They're mixed up. All right. I uh. And wait, that was the wrong guy. How low are you on gold? What? How low are you on gold? I got like four gold. <laughs> okay, I'll give you some. I'm just, I'm, I know, I just thought of something. Like, do I get royalties every like week for like uh, my crossbow sales? Um, you know, we'll have to figure that out at some point. <laughs> I imagine we've talked about it like a lot of it goes towards child support. Apparently not enough. Uh, not enough, no. Yeah. There's a lot of kids, man. Some uh, I don't even know exists. Yeah. Alright, yeah, so there's just a chest full of shit. Okay. Ah, shit, no, we just got a bunch of brown submarines floating up. Alright, I will... Full of, full of money. I will... And uh, a few garnets, actually. Okay, Ooh. I will take it. All right, you're taking all the shit in the chest. All the shit. I'll take all the actual loot. While she takes all the brown submarines. All right, and as you're searching through, you actually find a. Roll a d4 for me. Four. Two. You find it. It appears to be a yellow diamond Ooh. that pulses with some small uh, light from the center. Uh, and it looks like there's a little rock in the middle. But yeah, yellow diamond. And uh, you now have the total... Uh, so you bring all the money up from the ship, and unless there's anything else you'd like to check out in this city. Otherwise, um, you can bring all this money up, and it totals to about 500 gold okay. total. And 200 silver. Um, Bruce will actually revert to Wear Shark. The staying in Wear Shark form can pick up the whole chest and just bring it up to the ship. Okay. Um, but we found no evidence of what happened here. What? Hold on. No, I'm just asking. You could just, I'm just talking with you out of character right now. Is it possible to enchant weapons? Like, to have someone enchant your weapons for you? I it could. Is. No, like, permanent if, enchantment. If someone yeah. has the, the necessary skills, yeah. Okay, cool. Not uh, primarily, I can do it temporarily. Um, we didn't find any, like, evidence as to what happened here. No. You have not. It just appears to be a city that's underwater and you cannot fathom what happened. You can make an investigation check, actually, if you want. Okay. I will do that. Eleven. Plus... One, so twelve. Looking around, it, you don't know. Tsunami doesn't seem likely. There's not any land nearby, honestly. It's hard to tell. Okay. I'll just go back up to the ship. All right. And I'll climb back up onto all right. the ship. All right. You all make your way up, I assume? Yep. Everyone mm -hmm. following? You got the the robe and the potion you found and, the, and all this yep. money and gems? Yep. Yeah. And I will give... 200 gold to Gregory. Woohoo! Gregory has money again. He needs it. You have another 300 gold and another 200 silver. Yeah. I'm gonna keep that. Unless, who else is low on money? I have uh, 19 gold. You have 19 gold? You can give me... I'm good on money. I have 127. <clears throat> okay. I will give you 100 gold. Lovely. This has been a very uneventful episode so far. It's been nice. Uh, we made money. Pleasant. Can we not do Curse of Straw without Zach? Uh, we tried that for months, and then the people we were going to do it with fucking flaked on us. So I'm content in we ha I want to do it with him. Alright, alright. Yeah. Because he, he, he doesn't get the opportunity to play as much as the rest of us. Uh, alright, um. so... Do you do anything else? I want to inspect the um, 
The what? The you found three yellow kings. pulsing diamond. All right, you inspect it. How do you inspect it? What do you want to do? You want to make an arcana check? Yeah. All right, make an arcana check. Sixteen. It has the little rock in the center of it seems to have something to do with it. You're honestly, it's hard to tell. Okay. All right, and I'm going to I'm going to put on the cloak when I'm done putting on my armor. All right, you put on the cloak. It 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 looks cool. It's got a little whippy tail behind it. It's got a little whippy tail. Whippy yeah. tail. What kind of whippy tail? It's it's a nice blue smooth cloak. It's got like a just like a tail on the back. It's just like just a single strand of. Like just a strand behind it, like a tail. It's got nice, lovely gold embroidery on the sides of it. Okay, I will. Can I do an arcana check on that, or is it? Do I think it's magical? Or... I mean, it might be. It probably is to survive that long. Okay. You're not sure. Can I do an arcana check? Uh, sure. Okay. Uh, Twenty-eight. Okay, that's uh fourteen. Probably magical to have survived down there. Okay. For however long that city has been there. Yeah. Um and. Do you have identify? Yeah. Don't we use it right now? Uh, yes. I would like you to identify. Are we still underwater? No, we're, uh, we're no, on the ship. On the ship oh, okay, cool. I'm. Identify all the things. I would like you to identify all the things. I gave you a hundred gold. It's only sure, I guess. Braving you, man. I guess. I would have identi identified it for free, but you know. Oh, yeah. Okay. I grab it. All right, friend, I'll identify it for you. <laughs> the celestial like. language is a thing of beauty. Uh, <laughs> all right, so you cast identify on the cloak, and you learn that it is a cloak of the manta ray. Ooh. When someone wears this cloak with the hood up, they can breathe underwater and have a swimming speed of 60 feet. Pulling the hood up or down requires an action. Now here's the real question: If that if that cloak allows you to breathe and swim underwater, how did that guy die? Probably had the hood down. Yeah, but what if he had the hood up and then he died? Probably wow, somebody said somebody. Probably somebody killed. Probably somebody killed him. Maybe a shark. Could have been Sahagwin. Could have been shark. Could have been a were shark. We're rare though. Could have been a mega shark. Maybe he drowned. What a megalodon. All right. I say thank you. There is also a potion and the gem. Identify all the things. Okay, I'll <laughs> identify all the things. How many things are there? Three. Three? All right. There's only two more. All right, I'll pop two more identifies. All right, you pop two more identifies. You learn that the gem with the little, the yellow diamond with the little rock in it is... A what is, what was it called? Is it is an elemental gem. Uh, basically, with this gem, if you use an uh, if you throw it, uh, if you use an action to break it, essentially, then this will release an earth elemental. Oh. Uh, it will essentially conjure an elemental from the plane of uh, earth. Hey, that sounds pretty sick. No lie. For it's a like little a while. while. And it's a one shot, basically. Oh. It'll probably run uh, away after, right? I mean, or disappear. Or disappear. It, w it would dissipate, I imagine. It, it, it functions basically as the spell Conjure Element. And the potion is a potion of fire breathing. Haha! <laughs> oh my god. Hey. That's pretty hot. That one is self explanatory. What do you mean it's pretty lit? Oh. oh my god, I hate the both of you so much. This is so uneventful. Honestly. It's a range of 30 feet, uh, but yeah, you can, and it'll deal 4d6 fire damage. 
That's pretty good. Well, I don't need that. Spit in fire. Spit hot fire like Dylan. Lysha, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lysha up from the side. It's like you found a lot of interesting stuff down there. Yep. Yes, we did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You don't mind if we keep it, do you? It's not mine. I don't care. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> okay. Good. Okay, now uh, we fit the show on the road. Wait, no, Lysha. I think a good person here. I'll let you have my Albert quill, so we could be pen pals. What's a quill? Don't worry. And you stab her in the eye and you kill her. just kind of floats on the top of the water near her. All right. Wait. Oh, I should probably give you my address. What's um, an address? <laughs> wow. You're very... It's fine. You'll figure it out. Goodbye. Okay. And she takes the quill. I'll treasure it always. <laughs> and she goes under the water and disappears. <laughs> I hope that quill doesn't get soggy. <laughs> It immediately got soggy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you uh, just lost an owlbear quill. Erase owlbear quill from your inventory. I already did. Ryan <laughs> oh. is dumb as, is like, not having... Anything. But what if she writes back? And then you'll be the fool. Here's the thing, how is she going to write back on parchment? There's... If, also, there's no ink underwater that's capable of holding. Octopuses like, have ink. Col- no, there's no ink that's underwater <laughs> capable of holding form underwater. All right. I didn't so. want to say shit. I'm glad someone else said it. Oh. <laughs> I lost an hour to the crew. <laughs> I'm not sure if Ryden really realizes that he's just being playing for. So, um, what now, guys? I'm, if nothing's going on, who wants to do another spotting match? Oh boy. Bruce, I think you said you wanted to fight me. Oh, let's do this shit. Let's do this shit. Hold on a second. Holy. <laughs> Get this thing moving, you assholes! And you hear the anchor start being raised again. Whipper. What? I need you to enchant my ball. Ah. Uh, I. Wait. Wait, no, wait, I just remembered. Uh, magic remember. is cheating. Yeah, magic is cheating. Never mind, no magic. Never mind. Fine. Whipper, I need you to do something for me. What? If I win, you will fight Bruce to see who will fight me again. Oh, God. Alright, so you're gonna fight Bruce? Yes! Alright, so after a few minutes, you get ready. Bruce gets into... Uh... Yeah, Bruce gets into his armor. Mm-hmm. What is it? What's he wearing? Uh, it appears to be... Uh... What does Bruce square? I had that shit for somewhere. I, I had that written down. I'm gonna roll initiative, okay? Dude? You roll initiative. You do that. You do your thing. It's okay. happening again. Stop it. Get out of here, fly. And I got all my stuff, so, yay. Oh, yeah, you do, don't you? Uh. He appears to be wearing leather. Carrying any weapons or no? Uh, he has this big old spear okay. that he had since the la- that you remember seeing from long ago. It's this big hexagonal spear. Yay. Okay, uh, what's he roll for initiative? He I got 18. <laughs> A little bit better than you. Okay. Uh, so he goes first. Okay, we're 20 feet away. All right. So Bruce, in his leather armor... Yeah. Uh, with, let me get a pencil out. I need a pencil. Look at this ah! Shit. Okay, hold on. Getting shit together. Alright, so, Bruce goes first. He gets into a fighting stance. And he charges at you, closing the distance. Yep. And he's gonna make two attacks at you with his spear. Okay. And holy shit. Okay. Uh, that's a 19. No wait, that's not a 19. That's plus five to hit. So that's a 21 to hit and a 23 to hit. Both of them will hit. All right. I know. I don't care, honestly. You got sunscreen. Yeah. Okay. But it's not too bad because he rolled low on the damage. So he got. Uh, you take. Where is that? 
You take nine points of piercing damage altogether as Bruce charges at you and then pokes you twice. Ah, oh, goddammit! Ah, oh, oh, that hurts so much more than I thought. Oh, yeah, God. no shit, it's a spear, old man. What'd you think? Okay, well, my turn... Yeah, it doesn't... It's sparring, so it doesn't necessarily penetrate the armor fully, yeah. but you're gonna have some bruises. Okay, well, I'm gonna fight... Well, you know what? Let's see if I can return to fire. I'm gonna fire twice. All right. So four, and uh, so that'll be a seven. That'll be a 17 plus... That'll be 23 to hit. That will hit. Okay. Second attack? Uh, that was my second attack. Oh, that was? Okay, the first one didn't hit? Yeah, no, that was a 7 for the, the first All one. Alright, cool, just checking. That will be a 6 damage. 6 points of damage, reduced to 3. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, he's in his wolf form? No. Oh, shark form? He, he just gets that resistance all the time. Oh, because he work. has heavy armor match? Or, or, or just that? No, he's just a lycanthrope, so he just automatically has that resistance no matter what. Oh, okay. In that case, I am also going to use an action charge as my bonus action. Alright. That will be a 13 to hit. 13 will not hit. Okay. That's good. I'm testing out to see whether or not anything... What, what testing the waters. Yeah. God damn it! <laughs> that will be another 13 to hit. That will not hit. Well, I right. will use Lucky. Oh my god. That will not. That was worse than the last time. <laughs> Bullshit. All right, so Gregory. You wasted all your luck on me. Very uh, off no, I, put well, well, by this remember. large dreadlocked man who just poked you twice with a spear. You managed to you very quickly due to the rapid shot that you've all seen before. You're all watching Bruce and Gregory fight. It's pretty <laughs> fucking cool. <laughs> okay. And a bunch of them like just. One of them flies over Bruce's shoulder. Two of them lodge into his armor, and one manages to hit him. <laughs> And <laughs> just as you've seen with the Whipper Wolf and the Giant Wolf, it doesn't seem to phase him at all. Oh, come on! <laughs> oh, shit! Yeah. So he looks down on you, it's like, Oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> oh, come on, that's not fair. Phil don't worry, Philip's our friends, not food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 say that, fucking Megalodon. And he makes two attacks on you. That's a 17 to hit. That will hit. And a five, 19 to hit. That will both hit. So that is 11 plus 7. You take another 17 points of damage as it pokes you twice with the spear again. <laughs> <laughs> and now he's going to action surge. <laughs> because Bruce is a fighter. <laughs> and he's going to get it two more attacks. You're so fucked, man. I All love right. this. Oh, uh, okay. And that's a, uh, that was a natural one on one of those. Okay. And a ten to hit on the other. No. Oof. So, oof, oof. So as you're reeling back from the first hit, he actually tries to hit you, and then he, as he, uh, he actually gets his spear stuck in the floorboard with his second shot. Okay. Now, I'm going to use the first attack. I'm going to use a disarming strike to see if that hits. All right. That will be a 19 to hit. Uh, that will hit him for Great. sure. This will be the first one. Three. Fourteen points of damage. Reduced to seven. Yep. All right. Uh, uh, also, uh, strength check. Yes, you require a strength check. <laughs> checking. That's the beat 14. I know. I'm just checking what saving throws fighters get. Uh, strength and con. Good to know. That was a natural 20, so yes, he succeeds lucky. on that. So you shoot him in the hand wait, and... Wait, I said I oh. used lucky. Second natural 20. Oh, what the fuck? I'm not oh. even shitting you, look. <laughs> <laughs> that is bullshit! <laughs> 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 On the fuck! No! <laughs> no, no, no! On the fucking pink dice! <laughs> the dice that screwed you over so much! It's Storm King! <laughs> the fuck? That was the first one I rolled, actually. Fuck you, Pink Dice! <laughs> fucking played. Oh, fucking played. Bullshit. Okay. You know what? Fine! You got so fucking played, bro. Uh, <laughs> and the sec- Then I'll just use my second attack, then. Uh, Bullshit. Did you, did you roll damage? That was 14. You took, it took 7. Okay, I have to put that down. Bullshit, pink dice. Bull fucking shit. Salty, salty. 
<laughs> when in doubt, use the pink dice. The pink dice always screws me over. I that know. was amazing. Yeah, freaking Storm King. He got like, like only like twice. He rolled above ten on the pink dice during Storm King. Oh, <laughs> uh, the one time. The one time. <laughs> God. So yeah, you shoot Bruce in the hand, and he just kind of hits him in the pinky. And usually, this makes people drop their shit. Yeah. And he just looks at you with a big old sharkish grin on his oh, face. Oh, bull fucking shite. Or should I say, bull and pulls his spear out. Bull fucking shite, or should I say, bull fucking shark? N no, no, you're gonna fucking die, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm gonna hit you extra hard no. just for that pun. <laughs> and I'm gonna use my second attack. Do so. That one, I'm also going to use a uh, another disarming strike. I guess this will be my second battle action. All right. Eight. Thirteen points of damage. Thirteen reduced to six. Alright. And another strength saving throw. If he gets another fucking natural twenty, I swear to god. Uh, what is the DC? Fourteen. Yeah, he passed. That. Okay. Well, then another natural twenty. It was no, not. It was a twelve on the dice, and he has <clears throat> plus three to strength. Okay. Plus proficiency. So. Ugh, that was bull crap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. That was a. Oh man. I never. No, no one ever rolls two not twenty. Two not twenties on a saving in a row. Throw. In a row. That's I. I'm happy. Yeah. You, you know, know what? Just because I of can, that, I can yeah. roll below ten as Samway or any of my other characters for the rest of my life, and I'll live happy. Okay. And you know what? I'm just going to use my fucking second win. Why, why the hell not? That's ten. All right. Is it plus con or no plus con? Not plus con. Okay. Only plus spider level. Got it. So Joe beef ten. Bullcrap. Okay, <laughs> let's continue on. That's, that made you salty. <laughs> Alright, so Bruce, so you shoot him again, and it sinks into his armor. Uh, he's relatively unfazed, and then you suck it in. Uh, make you pump yourself up a little bit. The adrenaline surge goes through you. And, uh, what is, what is second wind? It's a D10, Bonus right? action. Bonus action? Yeah, but what is it? D10 How much is it? D10 plus, yeah. yeah. D10 plus level. So Bruce looks at you and you see the same rage in his eyes as he he also gets a spike of adrenaline. <laughs> Are you guys taking steroids? All fighters take steroids. All fighters take steroids. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you guys uh, have ecstasy or something? Are you guys high? No, we're just taking some, we're just in the bathroom with so syringes stabbing up the butt. two more strikes at you. And one of those is a uh, 14 to hit. No. And the other is a 17. That will hit. Who who is Gregory losing? Yeah, slightly. That is six points of piercing damage. Uh -huh. As one of his spear strikes, you manage to dodge it, and it goes right under your armpit, like ah! <laughs> and six the other points. one pokes you right in the belly. Boy, that's my belly. Oh no. He needs like. Seven more points of damage, and then it's but well, then he beats me. Okay, well, you know what? I'm just gonna take uh, two more shots at him. Yes. That will be a twenty-four to hit. That'll hit him for sure. And the second one will be a. I'm gonna use lucky on that. My last lucky point. That will be a seventeen to hit. That will also hit. Okay. And you know what? Just for the fuck of it, both of these are going to be crowbo uh, crossbow bars. Okay. Just for the fuck of it. 10, 13, 13. That will be 30 points of damage. Okay. Damn. Wait, what? How much? 30 points of damage, because I rolled... Reduced to 15. Yeah, because I rolled 15 and 15. Alright, cool. Good to know. And he has to make two saving throws. He does. What are these? The, uh, strength. Alright. And what is the DC? Uh, 14. Same as always. Alright, one of those is a natural 20. Uh-huh. The other one's strength saving throw. His strength plus 3. Uh, so no, he does not make the second one. Okay, so he gets pushed back 10 feet. Okay, so Brute manages to block one of your cross... Your crowbars, but the bolt still hits him. The other one, 
and he goes sliding back anime style. <laughs> Take that! All right, and 15 points of damage. That's right. what you get. No, not Nani. Is this uh, the uh, ancient uh, crossbow <laughs> art? <laughs> and he charges. That's the end of your turn, yes? Yeah. So he charges at you. Again. Again. Oh, Two more shit. spears. Spear strikes coming your way. Uh, if only I had Savannah. <laughs> one of those is only a 10 to hit. The other one is a 23. Now the 23 will hit. If you get seven, I, he wins. Oh. Uh, that is eight points of damage. Okay, that's one over. Okay, after he stabs, him, As I, he jabs you again. Okay, I, you win. You win. I give. You all win. Good. All Ooh. good. He takes his spear out of your armor. Oh my god, you fucking wish I. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, fucking wear a shack. <laughs> okay, you win. I'm going to bed. It's all good. I'm gonna bleed out. Yeah, well, you fucked me up, dude. <laughs> yeah. How much did? Uh, out of curiosity, how much HP he had and how much did I do? He had 58. You got him down to 35. Wow. If I had wow. like one more, I, 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 one more thing, I would have actually beat him. That was a close battle. It actually. was. You it was very close. Yeah. If he did, I, if he did not have that lycanthropy, like, if he did not, <laughs> oh, he would have yeah, taken. If he didn't have lycanthropy like, in Second Wind, that 30 uh, will fuck him up. Yeah. Good thing I have my Okay, I, qu I quit. Okay, I'm going to bed. I'm going to... Yep. Go I rest win. up. Shake hands. We shake mm -hmm. hands. We shake hands. Okay, well, good to see you. I'm going to bleed out in my bed. All right. Somebody should... Sinbada comes up. It's actually getting late, and it's now Sinbada's sh shift to work the wheel. He's like, The fuck are you doing? Uh... Expect you people to be working on, your, on my ship. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't hire you to do nothing. It's like, whatever, get... Fucking do whatever, I don't give a shit. He goes, <laughs> like, starts steering again. Fucking okay. sailing blindly for fuck's sake. How many days? There's still a lot of limes in that barrel! That was a uh, four. Uh, this is the fourth day. You're um, all going to die. <laughs> scabby. I'm fine. I, I, I like taking another lime, just like throwing it in my mouth to start chewing on the whole fruit. <laughs> oh, God, gross. I'm gonna. Awful. You know what, Fixie said, I'm just gonna sleep with a lime in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That'll be a sour taste. Alright, you all go to sleep, you get your, you get a long rest. Uh, you have all your hit dice back now, Whipper. Uh, you got some treasure. Some stuff. Uh, and you come back the next day, uh... Actually, uh... Whipper, I'd like you to make a perception check. Nine. All right, cool. Just checking. I'm Every time you say just check it, it makes me feel like you're gonna try to fuck us up. I'm not fucking you up. I'm just, I'm just curious. This is one of those random rolls I have people Dear make. God, Godzilla is here, guys. For no reason. It's gonna go Days of Monsters on it's us all over again. It's very concerning when you do that. I know. Uh, so uh, you guys awaken. Everything is all good. Uh, it's a nice, it's a pleasant day. You, it seems the clouds have parted again, and you are once again in clear skies. Okay. Ah uh, yes. Anyone? Up, up to the crow's nest I go. Yeah, yep, up you go. Ah, how long until we fucking get to the place? Like one more day. Ah! I think we might be able to get there today if we really book it. Book it! I'll do literally- I'll literally get to the back of the ship, jump in the water, start paddling, pushing the fucking ship! Please You know, go. Gregory, that might help. Really? Okay, I'm gonna start taking off my sh clothing. Don't go naked! Oh my god. I'm going naked. Alright, at least the water will clean off the grease. Water has glory cleaned off the grease. Uh, yeah, he already went in, remember? I'm gonna- Alright. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna take off all of my clothes. I'm gonna jump into the water, I'm mm -hmm. gonna swim to the back of the boat, and I'm just gonna start pushing the boat. Make a constitution saving throw, the water turned into acid overnight. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm fucking with you. I'm uh, fucking with I would've you. passed anyways, cause I, that was like a 23. It's all good. Um, yeah, you start swimming behind the boat. The thing is, you can't swim as fast <laughs> as the boat. So you actually start trailing behind. How fast is the boat going? <laughs> 80 feet of turn, I assume. Like a speed that, of and feet. I'm like looking over at the back, like, God okay. damn it, Gregory! Ah! Oh shit, I didn't expect him to actually do it, and Bruce right, goes and right. gets. No, I, d I jump in, 
with my hood up. All right, you hood up, jump in the water. <laughs> I get him. Okay. You can only go half your speed when you're in the water. Okay. I, I get him and I pull him up. You grab your naked of, father. Yeah, I, I pull okay. him up to the side of the boat and I... So yeah, as you jump in, you begin to be able to breathe water again. Yeah. And the cloak of this thing spreads out like the... Mantle. The, like, manta ray. The flaps of a manta ray. Yeah. And you just jet towards Gregory, gliding almost on the water. <laughs> and you begin pulling him back towards the ship. Yeah. Okay. Bruce tosses down a ladder for you. Yeah. God damn it, you stupid old man. What? Well, Bruce said that it's gonna work? I was joking. <laughs> well, I didn't know. I, I don't know anything about boats. <laughs> I only know one part is the, the front part, and the other part's the poop deck. By the way, I think you need someone on the poop deck to clean up all the excrements. God damn it, not Gregory! That even going. That's not what the poop deck is for. That is a joke! You, sir, are disgusting. Also, again, I like to reframe, that was a joke. Oh my god. What the fuck? Instead, I'm just going to like, okay, come on! We're doing this again, who wants to spot her one last time? Uh... No. No one? Okay, cool. Everyone's boring. I'm just like, put on some pants. Okay, I put on some pants. And I'll put all, I'll get my stuff back on. There's a fly in here. That's fine. Yeah. As long as it doesn't crawl up my nose, I'm fine. It's because you ate that KFC. I'm so bored! <laughs> Alright, so you Go guys. Go have are, a line, Gregory! You guys are continuing <laughs> to sail. <laughs> and uh, as you're sailing, Lock breaks like, "Hey, I think the mermaid is back." Can I have my quill back? You you go and look over the side where Lock break is pointing, and this is not a female mermaid. It is not a mermaid. It is a merman. Shit! <laughs> Tell your friend to give give me my quill back. I don't want hey, to be you're the one who fucking talked my girlfriend. Oh, wait for real? <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, I gave her a, 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 a present. I, I, fuck oh. you think you're doing, mate? Oh shit. Oh, Gregory. What? You think you just fucking come on, come on, other men's ladies? Hello, I'm Gregory. <laughs> Who the fuck are you, old man? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you pussy. I like. I decided to look down and go like. I'm gonna um, shit you now. Let's just say it's one thing. Ryan Dan just wanted to be nice to her. That's all. You better You'll fucking stay out of this. Wait, 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 wait. Right. I'm gonna grab Gregory. <laughs> I'm gonna cast guidance on him. Hey, get out here, face me! Oh yeah, we'll face you, bitch. Oi. Oi, what you said to me, little fuck? I'm not talking to you. Decide... You call me fucking old. He's old though. No one gets to call me fucking old unless I lack him, and what? I don't lack you. You're old. Wait, no, sorry, wrong side. I'm also Are old. Are you gonna say anything? <laughs> <laughs> he's just watching. He's like confused, going back between you two. It's like. Yo, fucking come down here and bite me, you little bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna point my crossbow at Wait, no, I'm you better, go, you better go, like, fucking swim through your little reef, you little... Well, well, why don't you come here? Bruce! And fight us on land, you, uh, fishy... Fishmonger. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna eat my crack, and that'd be amazing, and deserving. A spear. Boom. Oh shit! Oh fuck! Oh, he's here, he's here. He's himself in the wood right oh. under you guys. Okay, now it's time to fucking fight. I, I'm gonna fire. Let's fucking go. I'm gonna I fire go, off my crossbow. Like, look, With look, look. Bruce! We got a problem! That will be 22. That'll oh. hit. Okay. Wait, does guidance upgrade? Or does. Uh, guidance does not upgrade, right? Mm. Just to be clear. Does it? It does not. It does not. It does not. If it did, I think I'd be overpowered. Doubt it. Don't think so. All right. This want to be clear. And I just realized I actually have heavy crossbows. I'm gonna use a heavy crossbow. All right. That'll be a D10 instead of a D8. What the hell have I been doing? I don't know. That will be a 13 damage. points of damage. <laughs> All right. So you lean over the side and just yeah. shoot this thing, <laughs> and he just sinks into <laughs> the water. Oh shit! Uh, Bruce, we got a problem. Bruce looks over the side. 
Uh, oh my shit! And sees just a cloud me. of blood under the water. I'm gonna like, toss one of my seven heavy crossbows just over the wall board. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't look like a problem to me anymore. Nothing happens. We take this to the grave! <laughs> we take this to the grave! <laughs> And then I look over, uh, like, does that mean you lost your heavy crossbow now? I got seven of them. That's so I remember. That oh. wasn't his heavy crossbow. It came out of nowhere. Um, you that, saw it. it came out of nowhere. I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> oh my god, imagine if he's the mermaid prince. We take oh this dear to the god. <laughs> oh sheep god, please protect us. Oh my god. Phillips, we take this to the grave. I know. I look Listen. over to Gar Corvina. <laughs> We're stuck with idiots. I... Congratulations, you just murdered him. I just... <laughs> hey, oh, it was no. self-defense. He attacked us first. Wait, how am I gonna get my quill back? <laughs> get it, Lloyd. What are you that? What are you that? It was self-defense. He attacked us first by throwing a spear. Make a perception no. check. Okay. No. Oh Rare dead. Or oh. Gregory. Both of you are okay. Can I make a perception check too? Since I'm 16. Open? You notice the crumpled up quill floating alongside his body, now belly up. <laughs> as you're passing it. You know what? You can keep it. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh god. It's, oh, it's all over. You, you oh know what? You can keep god. it, mate. Oh, <laughs> I actually thought he would have more HP. <laughs> I also thought that. <laughs> Oh my god. You wait! Wait on that wind! Jump in the water and spare the dying! No! Do it! <laughs> okay. Oh my god, I! Is that possible? <laughs> you could try. Fuck it. I'm gonna tie a rope to him really quick. Okay. Jump! Kurgan <laughs> 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 jumps in the water, and swims then... over. He's, he's gotten a bit far, but you just barely make it to him. And I cast spare the dying. Yeah, let me. I can do some shit. Okay. Uh, so yeah, he comes, he, he stabilizes, he appears to be alive. Oh, thank god. And oddly enough, barely conscious. And then I'm gonna put a tug on the rope. He's gonna get off! He's gonna get off! He's gonna pull! And he tries to grab you. No! I'm gonna quickly, I'm gonna quickly. you need to make an acrobatic Wait, does he get, does he get, like, an advantage because I'm pulling it in? Pulling him in? Uh, just roll. Oh, fuck, dude. Acrobatics, right? Yes. 18. Or athletics. 18. Athletic, whichever you're better at. 18. Alright. Total? Total. He's got you, and now you're being dragged by Gregory. No. Gregory, you can make a strength check, actually. An athletics check. Okay. Athletics are strength. Yeah. I didn't take the water potion! That will be a 10. You, uh, you're not making much headway with Royordan in full, in, and, full. and this merfolk person. Can I help him? Dude, uh, I, yeah. I will help. I'm not even wearing armor, you dude. You bitch! And he's gonna try choking you <laughs> now. I'll fucking kill your whole goddamn family! And he's just like, but he's so weak. With a three, he does not manage to actually strangle you. But he does have you grappled at the moment. Can I will. Uh, Rare Dan, it's your turn. You can make an acrobatics or athletics check to try and escape. Acrobatics. Is it disadvantage because I'm in water? No. Okay. Uh, 17. <clears throat> Alright. Yeah, you managed to kick him off, like, ah, in his weakened state. And you're now being pulled toward the ship by Gregory and Whipper, <laughs> pulling you in. Can we roll to see how far we pull him up? Uh, to see how fast we pull him? Roll an athletics check with advantage because of Whipper. Do I need to roll two? No. That will be 21. Alright, yeah, you managed to pull him really fucking quickly. And he's now at the side of the ship. God damn it, you guys Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up! <laughs> I look, I look at And the, mer like... the merfolk makes it up to you and he tries to punch you in the face. <laughs> what? <laughs> he has oh shit! <laughs> Here. And he misses you because you go underwater for a second. And he punches the boat and like, you hear the bones in his hand break. <laughs> oh. Ah! Because he rolled a fucking natural one. Uh, <laughs> Wait. I'm um, gonna cure wounds on his hand. Because I feel really bad. <laughs> Alright, you cast cure You're wounds. You're both idiots! Is he willing? That's a real question, though. Uh, he doesn't- it's no, for real, though. magic, so he's not willing. Fucking. 
Fuck mm. this guy. No, I'm not even bothered. Spell bother. slot. Well, fine. Screw this guy. So yeah. <laughs> even require, but then you guys managed to pull him up. Whoop. I look at them going like, "You guys are fucking idiots." He attacked us first. See that spear? <laughs> I saved him. I, I didn't kill him. Give me back my oh, spear, you assholes. Look, it's a turtle. turtle. Fuck it. We'll and toss then it. Turtle over there. It's not mine. I borrowed it. <laughs> I'm gonna pull up the spear. I'm gonna say it's really? mine now, eh? It's not cool, man. <laughs> Come up and get you, now. you horse's ass. Do you know what a horse is? Do, do they know what a horse is? I just thought they of something. They have sea horses. I have six heavy crossbows left because Savannah. Oh, I just thought of something. No. Oh, Bayonet! I don't oh get it. Oh my god. I'm gonna attach a spear to the front of my crossbow so it can turn into a spear if I want it to. Okay, this spear is roughly like. Four times as long as your crossbow. Fuck it, okay. Then I'm like, okay, you want the spear back? It also appears to be made of some kind of coral. Okay. I'm Maybe gonna... Driftwood. What about the, 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 the front of it? It's probably gonna be fresh. The front of it appears to be sharpened coral. If I break it off, would it just be like a dagger? Kind of, it'd just be a sharp tip. Dude, I'll just give you one of my daggers. No big deal. I'm gonna, I'm gonna remove the coral bit. And I'm gonna like, throw. Oh, it. dude! And I'm gonna throw back Fuck, the spear. Oh, I throw back the stash. Out. That was my cousin's. <laughs> yeah, you tried to explain that to that you little shite. You fucking asshole. You're worse than Jeffrey. You guys suck. Geoffrey. 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 He's he's my he's the least favorite of all my eleven thousand sons. <laughs> Geoffrey, the little cunt. <laughs> the little cunt Geoffrey who got poisoned. Yep. <laughs> he's uh, the only one I refuse to actually avenge. Uh, I'm sorry about killing you! Fucking little finger, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so. I look to Gregory and Ryder and go, and like just pointing at going, the both of you are fucking idiots. I know, I'm sorry. Uh, I saved him! Friends? I generally, to be honest, he ain't a man. He took like one shot. That wasn't even. That, I didn't even expect that to happen. I did not expect that. Ugh, just get back on board, the both of you. Okay. <laughs> They're both on deck. They're on board. Uh, both of you get back inside and think about what you've done. Well, you guys are <laughs> up there, like, Bruce is like, Y'all done fucking around with mermaids now? Uh, yes! Yes! This is why I don't talk to them. I don't get fed up in their drama. <laughs> okay. Well, I am going to try to figure out if it's I can It's fun for, like, five minutes, and their boyfriends come poking around. <laughs> fucking bullshit. I know. I am going Bloody to... Bloody While I am in my cabin... I'm gonna try to figure out how to attach this thing to the front of my heavy crossbow. Make a tinkering check. What would that be? Intelligence. Oh, I have zero then. That's a 19. All right. Yeah, you think you've attached? You've made a crossbow bayonet? Yes. Now will it act like a spear? No. Okay. Well, you we'll... would have you. Uh, I think spears have a little bit of reach. Mhm. Mm this would be more like a dagger. So D4. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. The thing about a, why a spear does so much more damage than a dagger is that there's so much more force with just like two hands. Okay. The whole arm. I'm going to talk like to you all after this in order to like figure out how a bayonet's going to work. All right. Okay. So, I'm done. Okay. I just spent my entire life or my entire day killing a mermaid and <laughs> taking a shoving spear and then <laughs> catching it to his uh. A crossbow. Oh like a crossbow. <laughs> this was a very productive day, apparently. For me, I don't have a bayonet. I'll have a crossbow. I'm going to play with that turn. Alright. So, you guys, uh, you're dicking around most of the day. What, does anyone have anything in particular they want to do? I'm just Upstairs, gonna downstairs? Another, I'm just going to need another lime and just head to bed. Alright, so, roughly about halfway through the day, uh, you guys can see land, ho. Land ho! Andy, get your butt back over here! We're landing! Uh, but you're still not close to land. And then Lockbreak says like, Hey guys, I think I see another ship! Oh really? What kind of ship? I can't tell. And uh... Where's Delm in all this? Delm has been chilling, okay. really. Is Andrea? Same. Okay. Working on their tans. <laughs> Andrea must be like, like we are. brown right now. If I remember correctly, she's like pale. She's dark. Oh, never mind. I thought she was a high elf. No, she's okay. a human. She's, she's a, a dark human. She's a princess of a glass kingdom. Okay. Anyway, so uh, the ship. I'm gonna ask Bruce. Hey, Bruce, you know that ship? Is it, do we have to kill it? 
I don't know. Oh, I can't be good. But it's heading right for us. Okay. Oh, boy. I can't be good. Hey, Captain! What? And the captain comes up like, What the fuck do you want to be calling me up early? He's like wiping sleep from his eyes. <laughs> we got a ship on the horizon. Stop it now. And a uh, Sinbada pulls out uh, a, little a little little viewing glass. Ah, for fuck's sake. Battle stations! Oh, oh that can't no. be good. We got fucking minotaurs. What? Oh, that can't be good. I'm and as this ship is getting closer and closer, you get you can barely make out what appears to be horned humanoids with bull heads hanging off the sides of this ship heading right towards you and you can see what is very clearly a pirate's flag with a skull and crossbones except the skull is a fucking bull's skull. Ah shit. Ah damn it. Oh this is bad. And that is where we'll end things for today. Uh... Okay. I feel like we could have skipped day two through three. <laughs> In a way, yeah. yeah. But that wouldn't have been authentic. True. I was so bored. Gregory was so bored for the entirety of the trip. Yeah, well, what do you think sea travel is? A lot of dying. A lot of dying, yeah. I mean, in Stop the it. old times, yeah, exactly. That's what it, that's exactly what it was. What are you doing? It's where you went to die. Yeah. A lot of dying, a lot of plague, and a lot of slavery. All right, so uh, I think that's it for today. Yep. Everyone have a good time. A little bit boring, but like, okay. We'll see you guys next that's, time, that's then. How she is. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. 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 Fuck Bye. mermaids. <coughs> Dude.